Good evening, greetings adventurers, and welcome. I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the FNDM, and this is Cold Hard Witch, a live stream of the Rime of the Frostmaiden playthrough brought to you by Lawful Stupid RPG. Uh, tonight, uh, si sitting around the campfire, joining us this evening, we have none other than, he flips his notes, uh, Lee playing Herrick, the warrior, uh, Zolvana, the bard, played by Madeline, Buddy playing Xander, the wizard, Amy playing Fariel, the rogue, Nathan joins us this evening playing the professor. And Rodney playing <laughs> Flynn, the fighter. Um, of course, this is Cold Hard Witch. Join us, friends. Gather around the campfire and let us tell another tale. For the night is long and full of errors. All right. Last time on Cold Hard Witch. The group went ahead and traveled down the east way towards the town of Bryn Shander in the land of Icewind Dale. They have been suffering under the rime of the Frost Maiden, a two year blizzard of cold ice and snow that has trapped the land in a frozen twilight. No sunlight shines on Icewind Dale. As they were journeying down the road, they were set upon by some white claw walkers, uh, which proceeded to dish out some hearty damage to the uh, traveling guards that were with them and killing them heartily. The party fleed to survive another day. Upon, upon reaching the town, they were gifted a quest by a group of dwarves who were desperately seeking some friends to help them recover their lost goods. And we'll find out tonight if they're better left sled. So, we, 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 we fleed? <laughs> we fleed! We now join the party the next day at the Inn of the Overlook Tavern in Bryn Shander. My friends, you wake up the next morning feeling refreshed, as if you had gained a level overnight. Bringing yourself up from a slightly squishy level one to a level two. Huzzah! Huzzah! All right. <laughs> all right i mean as, as, a, all... As, a, as a that's that's a big deal so I'm, oh no i'm quite oh, no. grateful yeah. for that big deal. as you are uh, awaiting the dwarves to arrive uh who promised to get you some sort of help in order to transport the sled back to bryn shander once you locate it uh you have just this little bit of time before yourselves as you sort of get yourselves ready remember uh they recommended that you try to procure some some snowshoes or i mean uh I believe uh, Lee, you've got your your transport, right? Do we, yeah. uh, we figure out who that was? The so what have I got? Oh, my goat. Yeah, my goat called, is called Ethelfledge. Yes, Ethel, the goat Ethel named Ethelfled. It's got a fantastic coat of fur. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So as you all come down from your rooms, yes. Are we all joining into the uh, mm -hmm. front room? Yeah, right. Is it, anyone still struggle, struggle busting to get out of bed? No. Yeah, no with, with a brand new with, with a brand new level, I feel good. All right. Good. Good. Uh, as you come down to the common room, uh, everyone, roll me a perception check. I have a passive of sixteen. Oh. Okay. Okay. Dig it. I rolled an um, eighteen. What what one do I use for that again? Uh, that's gonna be the D twenty. So okay. if you go ahead and look on your D and D Beyond page, you should be able to see in your skill set. Well, okay then. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's twice. You're you're welcome. Yeah, no, honestly, she rolled a five on that, so I'm not even yeah. sure even with a proficiency bonus. Ooh. Well, hey Flynn. All right, All right. twenty. Nice. Oh, players, be sure to announce uh, your roles when you see them, so that we can share it with your friends at home. That way, they can grieve with you or rejoice. Is yeah. a, a dirty 20 for anyone watching at home? No. Nice. Right. I was just hoping I don't good roll old, like last night. All good right. Old five. Good 13. Old five. <laughs> with <laughs> a zero <laughs> bonus. Dig it. Dig it. Ooh, all right, friends. Yikes. So uh, I need all of you to go ahead and, well, I'll say everyone except for Nathan, go ahead and remove your headphones and we'll have our first secret, secret session of the game. Secret, secret, secret. Secret, secret. Oh, secret, secret. He got a secret. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right so so as yes. you sit there in the 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 tavern of the over uh, of the north look waiting waiting your journal 
scribbling to you as it says, Wait. Wait. They are coming. And then as they descend the stairs, it says, quickly hastened, scribbled out, The child of midwinter. Seek them out. Go with them. I will quickly write back, who is the child? The group. They descend. They are here now. They seek. <laughs> they seek the treasure. Join them now. It is a child of the mountains. Okay, I'll just head down, journaling, at a table down in the down in the common room. Head up every few minutes to to look around. All right, my friends, uh, and with those wonderful rolls of twenty, like the the North Look looks exactly like the North Look looked last night. Whew, I challenged myself with that one. <laughs> And so, uh, but as you come down, Flynn, and of course, anybody, uh, also Herrick with your 18, though I didn't see, oh, 17, yeah, 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 so with the uh, 17 and up, you guys all notice in the corner, there's this figure uh, where everyone else is like very sort of like, like sort of like blowing off their drinks, and like trying to get their food going and all this stuff. This creature is just sort of, furiously scribbling in what appears to be a, a, a book. Uh, if, if you didn't know any better, you would have thought this was somebody like studying for like a last minute exam, like the, the fervor is there. And so it just seems greatly out of place. Nathan, your character looks up and sees the group descending the stairs. What do they see? Uh, they see a tall, older gentleman, uh, 50s-ish human, um, long coat, uh, but it is well-worn, uh, was probably uh, well-tailored at one point, but has definitely seen some wear. Um, just, just a cup of some hot beverage, a tea, something on the table in front of him, uh, furiously scribbling in uh, this, this journal, and he's got a, like a sling pack satchel, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the very perceptive will notice the the sharp corners of what are probably more books in that satchel. <laughs> like sling pack satchel. Yeah. What do you call those? Who knows? Yeah, I've right. Got right. One. That's, I think we call them sling pack satchels now. All right. Are so those friends. available from... Uh... From, from your yeah, check them out in the Lawful Stupid Shop, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. The, the Buckle and Rose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so as you look up, so Flynn, with the highest perception rolls, you look across the room and both of you, both, uh, both the professor and Flynn, lock eyes for a second. Uh, hey, hi. I'll give hi. A, a, a knowing nod in your direction. All right. The for, <laughs> for the professor's for the professor's sake, would all of you go ahead and show, tell him who he sees, and for the players at home? Uh, I guess leading the charge, since I'm the first one that sees. So since I'm the first, like, since we lock eyes, what you see is a um a human fighter. Uh, so like I have like two swords on me and a shield on my back. Um, in this like thick blue quilted garb with fur trim on the on the top. Um. I look like I, I always look like I'm about to get into a fight or like someone can be like, oh, sir, you've got swords on you. Can you please go kill this person for us? <laughs> I have a quest. Yeah. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go to Feriel next. Okay. So in probably the back of mm -hmm. the pack, you see um, not much of a person. You really just see a hood. You see some like golden eyes peering out, um, probably darker skin tone underneath, but with the hood and shadow, it's hard to really tell. A face covered in a mask, um, dark leather gear, 
set for the woods um, with a bow slung on her back. Excellent. Xander? Uh, <clears throat> you see a, an elf who stands about six foot tall with blonde hair and very fair skin. Um, he he seems to be a, a spellcaster of some kind, but he's also carrying a rapier and a dagger, which is kind of unusual. Um, uh, he seems, you know, like he's trying to be happy, but definitely there's some, some melancholy uh, you know, setting in his face. So... Zolvana. Muted. Muted. Then to do that. Um, <laughs> Cone of silence. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see Zolvana, uh, you know, in, in leather traveling garb um, with her silver hair just running around the, the, the inn, talking to people, trying to, you know, get gossip, saying hi, flirting. That's what she does. Uh, and she also has a rapier on her and a few daggers, um, as long, as well as her, uh, uh, loot strapped on her back, just, you know, just for good measure, <laughs> just in case she has to do a random show. So yeah, <laughs> just in Love case. And last but not least, Herrick. Yeah. Okay. You probably hear him before you see him. Um, stocky dwarf, very muscular, um, around 30-ish in probably human years. Um, braided beard, shaved head at the sides with like a short mohawk and with a tattoo one side of the mohawk as well, like tribal tattoo. He is wearing chainmail, uh, has a shield. He's, if you could imagine like a, a backpack um, and then scale that up probably a few notches. Uh, that's probably what's on his back. He's just he's got traps hanging off one side. He's got uh, a massive maul on the back. He's got pick you know, loads of weapons. It's basically just covered in weapons, tools, and everything. He looks like he's equipped for any situation, and he probably should be set up in a, a shop somewhere. That's what he looks like. So yeah, excellent. And of course, last but not least, you see. The innkeeper, Scramasax, sitting like standing just behind the bar. I say, "Good morning, everybody. How we doing? You sleep well?" Oh, great! Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Feel That's like a, thank, feel like thank you, person. You look refreshed, ready to go. So that is good to hear because uh, the dwarves were stepping out just a little bit ago, and they said they should be back here in shortly. Uh, not much happened between here or there, though. A strange character in the corner. So, I, I balls up, everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> We were ready for eggs and bacon first. And eggs and bacon you shall have. Are you making them or should I make them? I mean, I can make them if I eat them. I mean, I, 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 I want to say, if you are looking for a job, friend, I will happily hire you like that. This this man can cook. You all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, he's fantastic. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. uh, okay, free breakfast for everyone then. I'll cook it. I'll, I'll provide the eggs and bacon as long as you provide the talent. And so he shuffles in the back and then tries to uh, ushers for Herrick to follow him. Thanks. Does does Herrick go back into the kitchen with his giant pack on or does he, he put set it, just that drops down? It there, sets it down? <laughs> I'm imagining trying to squeeze through a door with a uh, I mean, I just got this on. It fuzz. It fuzz. I mean, if you can, some of you probably couldn't even pick it up. It's that heavy. So, yeah. I buy that. Everything. I buy that. All right. Yeah, I have a strength of eight, so I'm going to say that's probably true. Uh, so the, <laughs> the 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 strange one in the corner that he notioned to is that uh, the professor. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Is is there anybody else in here? Is it pretty pretty dead this morning? I mean, pretty dead this morning. It's it's early, and so unless they had a. Uh, uh, unless you're a patron of the North look like staying the night over, like no one's really like looking to roll out this early, especially considering uh, you guys wanted to get that jump on the, uh, the, the search. So mm -hmm. uh, did we notice that Flynn and this strange man had a, a bit of a connection to, even though we, we didn't notice much about him. Did we notice that Flynn noticed him? Yeah. I, I would say I, that. Oh, oh, like I, I would like, I would like lock eyes with them and just be like that dude over there's got a lot of books. There that's a is. that's a that's a lot of books. Well, let's let's go see if they're interesting books. Oh, okay, yeah. Did you you looking to pick up on some light reading? 
Well, I mean, it's, it, it depends on if it's an arcane nature. I'm, I'm always looking for something, uh, something about the arcane. So, Well, that looks arcane as hell, so you go over there and talk to him. <laughs> Uh, all right, so, uh, Xander will walk over. And, I'll follow behind him. <laughs> uh, good, good morning, friend. Uh, how are you? Quite fine this morning. How are you? Uh, I'm well. We we noticed that uh, just boots and notes, uh, books and notes, and books and notes, and books and notes over here. Uh, thought we'd come over and uh, and 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 just introduce ourselves. Uh, see see what you're reading. If it's anything interesting. Uh, uh. Reginald's the name. Uh, just jotting down my thoughts. It helps me to uh, stay focused. All right, I can uh, I can dig that. So I'm my name is Xander, uh, and, and if if you don't mind, I sit down. I'd love to uh, let, love to hear what you're furiously writing about. Uh, n- nothing important, as I said. Just uh, idle idle musings. Fair enough. Um, you folks uh, clearly look like you are ones who uh, get out and about quite often. Um, oh, no, these these are just for show. We're actually <laughs> <bodies> <laughs> here. These are my grandmas. <laughs> all, right, all of a sudden, boom, the door of the North look like just like it, it's that thing where like it opens and then the wing catches it and just goes wham, like slams up against the wall and everyone just like, huh, and like stomping in. Oh, good. Good. You're up. Good. Oh, blast that wind. Oh, I was, we were able to secure a, an axe beak. Ornery bastard and, and on loan, but provided you can get him back to us which you should be able to do that anyway uh he, he should be able to help you out with the task uh you're you're still going to recover the sled right yeah yeah come in come, come in come in shut the door warm excellent, up a little excellent. bit <clears throat> slams the door <sighs> oh oh did you, did you pick up another one uh it's another uh, what Another one. Uh, we're, this is uh, this is Professor Reginald, and we, we've just met. Uh, Herrick is making us all some breakfast, and you uh, oh, uh, snatched oh, the door off the hinge. Haruna, pleasure to meet you. Uh, I, I had asked your group of friends to, to help me with a little uh, recovery task. I unfortunately have uh, lost some assets. Um, I, I imagine they filled you in? No, they haven't. Uh, recovery we, of what? We, we lost. literally just sat down. We hadn't got there yet. Just, just met this man. Oh, I'm so. I have just gone ahead and put my snowshoe right in my maw. That's just me. Yeah. That happens. The professor will make a a couple quick notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, professor, as you, you may have gathered, we're 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 on a job. Um, we're gonna secure secure some assets that have been lost out in the wilds. Um. If you if you just got here and you're hurting for some cash, you could jump in on this if you know if you want. How often do you folks make it out of town? My job is literally to go out of town and do jobs. For <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I pretty much move where there's work, so frequently to infrequently to frequently. I'll, I'll tell you this, we, we left before and we came back yesterday, so our track record as far as you know is pretty good. 100% <laughs> success rate so far. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, does the child of midnight mean anything to you? The, ch- the child of what now? The child of midnight. Have you run across it yet? N- n- no. N- mm. I got... Mm. N- n- Eggs no. and bacon. Who wants the we first? Can, we can let you go. Ah, yes. Oh, eggs and bacon. Herrick. He comes running out. We're walking out with two plates. He's probably got about three, four plates. Oh, thank God, Runa! Like, sh- like puts an elbow into somebody and like like grabs a hold of like one of the plates. Is just like, thanks so much. And goes and sits down next to the professor and starts oh, just like no, cramming it in her maw. Yeah, Zavanna comes up tomatoes, and... bacon, bit of bread, eggs. <laughs> mm, eggs. Uh, 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 Go get some more. I'll go make some more. <laughs> so, you'll um, 
he'll you'll take the job you're gonna help them are you offering employment is, I mean, is this an open contract more the merrier or as long as as long as the shipment gets back in to Bryn Shander the, the happier I'll be and I mean I, I could certainly cut you in on the deal sorry I, I feel like I, I really imposed myself here but I, I, I've got to I can't stress enough we, we've got to recover that shipment I, I'm sure uh, well it's black iron blades I mean Flynn you right you yeah yeah no I'm on it yeah uh I mean, it's good work. Um, it's it's reliable work. Well, I uh, I can't promise I'm sorry. that I'm. What? Yes. What can you do? Uh, <laughs> it's quite an interesting question. I uh, I yeah. Um, I don't I don't mean to be rude about it, but as we are about to walk <laughs> into the open wilds, um, it's a good could, point. It's quite dangerous out there, and like. I don't think you can kill those beasts with your books, can you? I mean, with, it's with possible books, that no. you could make us famous, though, journaling about our, our adventures. I'm pretty sure I mean, journalists We've already got someone too. singing about us. I, I suppose written record would be good as well. Do yeah, he do doesn't that. seem like a bard. No, must, most assuredly not. <laughs> yeah. I, I am quite a traveler, but I, I'm afraid you're right. I'm, I'm not much of a fighter. I I do have other skills, however. Uh, skills of uh, logic, deduction, things of that nature. Are you good at not getting lost? <laughs> uh, that... not, not really. Not really, oh, okay. no. I, I, I've got you covered on that one. Usually stick, stick to the wondering. roads, typically. <laughs> well... Roads? Where uh -huh. they're going, there won't be roads <laughs> yeah th yeah this game just took a turn I, like <laughs> I, I mean if you can keep yourself alive you can you can ride with us to get this and back it's a i'm not gonna jinx us by saying it's gonna be an easy job something will go wrong because something will go wrong there's no guarantee we can keep you alive just pointing that out. I don't need I, another liability. I don't mean to to make you all responsible for for my well being. I I take full responsibility for myself, but I feel like I could learn something from all of you. Hmm. Okay. Having another, you know, logical person in the group probably not a bad thing. I think it's a good fit. Professor, if I may, would you be smart enough to instantly run away from two cold light walkers when you first saw them? Uh, absolutely. We oh, she's good. We should He's totally good. take him with us. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> we should totally do. We were not smart enough on that yesterday. Nope. I mean, we got there eventually, but you know, true. It took a true. Eggs. Uh, I'm. Okay. I'm I was gonna yes, say, I'm gonna, please. I'm I'll take some of the eggs and bacon. If, if Herrick's coming out yet. It's gonna, it's gonna and I did not mean to... I I do have my uses. I am... Um, I did not mean to... Uh, are we taking the old man? Sell myself short. I think we're taking the old man. Yeah, he's smart enough to flee early, so we're absolutely taking him. Very well. Nice. One more we gotta look after. Well, he said if he dies, he dies. So that's... He's agreed he doesn't expect us to keep him alive. Oh, well, that's easy enough. I'll and try I think my he, best. I think he's going to journal about us to make us all famous. That doesn't interest me. Hey, so when you journal about this, let's leave some names out of this, you know? Uh, if we're, if we're going to tell about... I don't even about... know most of your names, so there won't be an issue there. Cool, 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 cool. I'm Zalvana. <laughs> Pleasure, Reginald. <laughs> uh, I'm hungry. Just... <laughs> <laughs> this uh, our, uh, our 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 chef du jour here is is Herrick. He's a uh, he's just a jack of all trades so far, and uh, he's got this this little cube. You know what? We'll 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 see the cube later. But it's he's 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 intriguing so far. I'll take that as a compliment. 
Ab- uh, it was absolutely meant that way. Are, are you not? Are you not eating that sausage? I haven't gotten there. any sausage yet. Give me sausage. Afraid I'll, go, I'll go eaten. make some more. I'll go get up and make some more. <laughs> when do you intend to uh, to embark on your journey? R- right now, right, right, right now. But just yeah, after breakfast. I'm, yes. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna clean this plate first, but yeah, then we're gonna go. Yes. Yeah, Wait, do we? Just, are do you we need all any equipment adequately before we go? supplied? Yes, that was my question. I think we do. Might need to make a few stops before we head out. You mm. know, get some equipment. What, what do you need? Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? What is it that you? What, what do you need? Maybe snowshoes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you don't yeah. plan to follow roads, then then yes, something oh, of that yeah. nature might be uh, might be required. Oh yeah, w- where you're going, there's no roads. It's just tundra for miles. So then, maybe six sets of uh, of snowshoes. I'm uh, assuming ab- the, the Axbeak the Axe Beak doesn't need snowshoes. No, of I'm course saying. not. No, Axbeak has a web feet that can tear in. up the snow. But um, uh, talk to uh, go, talk to Garn. Uh, tell him to put it on my credit. Which on your credit? Oh hell yeah! No, let's yeah. You can see <laughs> on Harrick's uh, backpack, he's got his own pair. Oh, okay. So that's. Five? Five. Five. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah I, I'm sure my credit can swing that. I'm pretty well, sure. Thanks. No, no, no. Please. Whatever whatever gets you out and gets you back as fast as possible. Are you all right? You you seem in quite a hurry for this shipment. Uh, it's just we, we we just we need to make sure that the shipment gets through. It's it's been really hard gathering it up and it, it would be it would be a, a, a huge blow to the clan if if we lost this money so i what are you shipping uh ingots okay. iron ingots okay i mean sounds and simple they, enough and they Not have nearly as interesting as i was hoping it would be but they have procured oh, suppose it has its uses to uh, to tow the sled with, so we don't have to carry it, which is nice. Thankfully. Oh, rest assured, friend. While the ingots themselves may not be interesting, what they make or what they are turned into oh, is all manner of fascinating and devastating. What kind of ingots? Just iron ingots. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What okay. you think it was? Okay. Bringing you some chardlin or. Or other, some other god awful magical infused thing. Uh, maybe you walked out there and came back without them. So just anything could happen in the wilds out here. Yeah, fair enough. That is Icewind Dale. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, I'm full. I'm ready to go to Garns. Uh, whenever anyone else is. I'll join you. Bastard at the last sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Are we going? Uh, are we? Uh, I'll pick up my backpack. The scram sex, do we need to pick these plates up or are we? Oh, no, no, no. I got you. And say, the least I could do for the master chef over there. You are welcome anytime, my friend. Seriously. Oh, you can come you. back. Oh, all right. Uh, should I expect all of you back here before you head out or good luck and Godspeed? Let's go. Yeah. Good luck I think, Godspeed. You know, I think we're going to get supplies and then, then go out and just get this done. Yep. Suppose Ready Ethel for me. Excellent. So as you all step outside into the, the brisk morning air, I said, well, I'm sorry, is everyone stepping outside or is it, I just heard. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Brilliant. All right. And we all go, we're all going together. So uh, you step out into the lovely town of Bryn Shender. So um, I'm I say, as you all know, you're going to be heading out uh, through the north, uh, through the north gate there. But uh, Black Iron Blades is back towards the south, towards the center of town. And as you make your way through the town, uh, you can pick up your snowshoes. Garn is more than happy to see you uh, and fits you out right quick. As soon as you mention that uh, um, Haruna has uh, offered up her credit, he says, no problem, no problem at all. Oh, and remember, if if all of you get this done and come back, I might be able to cut your further deal if you're uh, looking to, you know, have more dealings in Bryn Shander. But Flynn, of course, you've already got, yeah, you're fine. You're yeah, fine. Yeah, no, I got you. All right. All right. 
Um, so he hands you out your snowshoes. Uh, anything else you guys want to try to procure before you, you head out for the day? Uh, I would like some, um, some, maybe some herbs, some salt and pepper. Her- herbs? So- Salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Uh, and he's like thumbing through, thumbing through. Uh, he, uh, my, I, I, I can do you on the salt and pepper, though it's not going to be much. Uh, yeah, herbs right. are a little hard to come by, but all right, all right. And so he, he gathers up those things. Anything else from anybody else? Uh, I would like a dagger because I seem to be short one, and everyone else has one, and I feel out of place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just quickly, uh, thank spare, you very much you for the like 500 one. bits, Peter. And see you later, what? buddy. Thank you very much for dropping out before you go. Um, whoever hasn't got inspiration yet, like a D20 oh, inspiration, you can You're roll. on, buddy. So, <laughs> well, you you too. It's me and you, Nate. Is, is there yeah, two of you? Okay. Yeah. So roll the D20. Fight. See you later, roll. Peter. Straight, you get this. Straight D20 roll. Uh, 13. 13. Ooh, 13. Better, better than I rolled. Also a 13. <laughs> oh, roll again then. Where, where, where Wait, are you rolling? Oh. Did mine roll? No, it's no it didn't roll. Hold on, wait. <clears throat> wait, wait. Du, du, du. Top left, you can see a little. There we go. Custom roll. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you ain't winning. You ain't winning. That's a cold really hard win. damn right there. All right. Yes. Yes. All right, so, buddy, Zombie. with a roll of 13, you are inspired. As Thank it you. should be. As it should be. Thank you, right. Peter. I was actually uh, really going to laugh if Buddy lost that one. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> that, that was really the whole good. game without getting one. I would have felt right. bad for uh, about three seconds. And Flynn, you're able to pick funny. up your dagger for uh, a gold piece uh, uh, with uh, with your discount at uh, Black Iron. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So salt add that to your pouch of salt and pepper. What's that costing me? I mean, salt and pepper will uh, cost you a gold piece, and if, uh, if there's anything left over, you can get that extra credit. Well, so yeah, that's a ton, ton of it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A d- decent little pouch of it, which may or may not have some like battlefield application if you want to like throw some pepper at somebody. But well, uh, salt will melt the snow as well. So. <laughs> He's just like slowly walking along the tundra, like Sprinkle it. everyone slow down, slow down. I don't know if you know, but I got a thermal Sprinkling. cube yeah. that will probably do that better. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. So, any, any other bits or pieces that we want to pick up? No, I'm good. So. I mean, I'm sure that we will need something once we get out there and realize we don't. Oh, have absolutely, it, yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out later and regret. Yeah, you, you sit know. there going. Does anyone have any rope? Mother. All right, so uh, that was going to be my question: Is do we have rope? Yes. Um, um, yes. Um, well, I know here. Oh yes, I have rope. Okay, I, I do. Cer- as well. I certainly do not have rope. Uh, I, also, I don't yes, have. I, rope. Ha- I have rope as well. Let's have a look. Okay. I've got grappling hook, rope, everything. We're fine. We're fine. I've got. Parchment, ink, and a pen. <laughs> Just this guy. To write them a note or perhaps uh, a prescription. All right. Uh, the sternly worded letter. Dear yes, White yes. Claw Walker. Uh, oh my God, you guys. Please the adventure is back. <laughs> yeah, between, between that and the uh, the White Claw Walkers and the, the rabbit traps, this is going to be a very interesting game. All right. All right, friends. So, so did, we, uh, did he give us our snowshoes? Yes, yes. So okay. you all have a pair of snowshoes. Uh, if you didn't have them before, go ahead and equip them. That's going to make just travel across the snow easier. Uh, and then let's talk about how you're actually getting across the snow. So you have this axe beak, which you are walking with you. Um, you've also got uh, Herrick. You do have your cart with Athelflaed the goat. Um, traveling across, like, sh- she's great on roads. Uh, she's not terrible across the tundra, but she's not going to be as fast as like a, a, a uh, oh no, she's on a sled, isn't it? It's not a cart, it's a sled. sled. Okay, so she's not going to be as fast as a dog, but she's going to be like comparable, but that's uh, in terms of carrying people, a dog sled can only carry two people. Two people, yeah. And, and so then you've still got, meh, 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 meh. that's still four people who are w- walking, like what, so unless we were looking to sort of procure sleds for everybody which who said i'm sharing <laughs> oh yeah. yeah that'll that'll be great that'll be great it'll be herrick off on his own with one other party member and the four of you i, I oh. feel like you getting sleds for all of us is expensive and then we have to figure out how to deal with those when we're bringing the actual quarry home right right so, because you know there's a sled out there right 
So I yeah. think we should just hoof it out there as best we can. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 Ariel would be more comfortable with that anyway. Should I leave my sled here? Do we need to? I mean, you're also, I mean, you're more than welcome to sort of walk with Athelflaed with, I mean, because, mm -hmm. but. Well, we've got the axe beak to pull it, so. You you do? Oh, so you're going to leave a, leave Athelflaed, uh, you can leave her at the north look, and then. But I'm then thinking... we'll have two sleds and one axe beak when we get there. That's what, I'm, no, that's what I'm thinking of not taking my sled at all. We don't need my all sled, right. do we? All right, dig it. For now. Dig it. If we, all right, uh, so. Yeah. No, as, as long as you can tote your backpack, I think that... Um... Yeah, I can carry that, yeah. Dig it. All right, so we're just going to fellowship this and just hoof it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why, why fly when we can walk? This is great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The weather's fine. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, lovely. Okay, so you're all heading out north? Yes. Yep. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Um... Let's see here. Uh, everyone roll me a survival check. This should go well. <laughs> this will uh, be great. Is that a 15. d20? Yeah, so it uh, uh, should be on your skills list. You should see survival. It should be a, Ooh, wait, you up together, from the go. bottom. Ah, crap. I Look rolled a stone. So I'm seeing uh, 15. Seven. I, went, I went all the way to 11. <laughs> Can I 30, 20, baby. Nice. So I got so nice with... with with the twenty, uh, with the twenty uh, from Feriel and a nineteen from the professor. Oh no, that was a stealth check. No and I, wait, I rolled, I rolled stealth. Do you want me to re-roll or is, you, is it the same roll? number? Because I don't survival? have a survival bonus, so it would be an it. It'd be an eighteen. Okay. And check it's out on. the bard the coming in yeah. with a twenty-three. The bard with a crit. Damn. All right, all right. So here. So this is one of those skills where I'm always expecting you, some of the survivors, some of the party to be like. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone but, else knows where they're going, and the professor is gone. <laughs> right. uh, I like it. All right, friends. So you go ahead and start trudging. Ah, uh, the trudge through the snow. Uh, with those survival checks, you're able to sort of like discover the paths in which like the ice is not as bad or the the, the snow is not as deep. Obviously, like, buddy, you're are you, you full elf? Yeah, that's right. So you, you kind of mm -hmm. get that little like. Legolas walking on top thing happening right now, but you know, it's it's good, it's good. You're so nice and light foot, but um, as you start to make your way out into the tundra, like, so we've got 10 o'clock, two o'clock, you know, the, the day is waning on, and then all of a sudden, like from the north, you just see this fairy, oh, actually, Zolvana with your 23, you see this gray shroud sort of just coming sweeping down off of the mountain of kelvin's Carn, and it just starts to start rolling towards you and while you all of you have been in the area at least two years you are all well acquainted with what a blizzard looks like and so as this storm comes rolling across the tundra at you like you have very little options but to brace and hope to God that you uh, you can go ahead and make your way through that storm. So, oof. Is uh, so, are, now, are these are these high wind? Is is it tons of wind, or or is it just a ton of snow? Yeah. So, friends, for those of you playing along at home, and also for my players here, since this is the first time they're getting hit with a blizzard in Ice Wind Dale, let's talk about blizzards for a second. So, a blizzard has howling winds that limits hearing up to a range of one hundred feet and it imposes disadvantage on your ranged attack rolls. It also imposes disadvantage on any perception checks that rely on hearing. The wind extinguishes any open flames, disperses fog, erases tracks in the snow, makes flying by non-magical means nearly impossible. Uh, a creature uh, falls at the end of its turn if it's flying by non-magical means and can't hover. Visibility in a blizzard is reduced to 30 feet. Characters without goggles or eye protection have disadvantage on perception checks that re result uh, with uh, s with seeing because of the blowing snow. Uh, any creature concentrating in a blizzard uh, has to, su to succeed on a DC constitution saving throw at the end of its turn or lose the concentration on that spell. And here's the fun part. The fun part is, is you can very easily veer off course in a blizzard. So your options are to mm -hmm. either stay put or if you want to try to keep moving forward and gain speed onto where you're going, you have to go ahead and make a survival check. Now, you all passed 
like as far as a party, you passed for that first survival check. So you're all on course to where you want to be going. But as the as the storm is coming down off of Kelvin, like you can still see it. But then as the storm is going to wash over you, it's just it is the gray. All right. That is all you get for 30 feet around you. All right. So if you want to try to hunker down, like tie yourselves together or just like sit down, bust out the cube and like, you know, have a time. Like the this storm is gonna last for at least a few hours, or you can try to keep pushing along. But the more you try to push, there's a better there's a chance you may veer off your course left or right. But these are options. Hmm. Oh, look at it. Uh, what All right, friends. Ryan, could I request? Is it easy for you to post all of those blitter? Yes, I can post all the blizzard, all, all the blizzard nonsense. Uh, I can either put it uh, in the chat or I can put it on roll twenty. What do you guys? Chat somewhere. Lovely, 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 lovely. Don't well, mind we, if I do. We lost oh. Nate, or is he? He was a little he's just he's uh, lagging, uh, lagging out a bit. Laggy. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. he's back. Uh, you back? Short lag spike. I'm okay yeah. for now. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all is well. It all was right, the thanks. blizzard. <laughs> See, I told you this thing is coming down on us. I told immersive experience, guys. Yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Ryan's pulling out all yeah. the stops for tonight. No, Blizzard took out my Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What do I so, think, what do I think safest? Can I roll a, like a survival for what's safest, or what would that be? I'm saying you want to roll survival to what's safest. So, yeah, I mean, uh, well, it no, doesn't matter. Uh, as a group, we do, we'll decide. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, Sylvana's seen it first, and I. I yeah. Yes. So, Sylvana, you see it, and then of course, shortly after that, Fariel, and then like in descending order of your perception checks. So you all see this gray storm coming at you, and you all know well enough that a blizzard is not not to be trifled with. So. Hold on tight, Professor. It's about to get a little bumpy out here. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> wow. I. Uh, I, I... <laughs> the professor is not prepared for the blizzard. Continue traveling in. Oh my god! I couldn't. I couldn't ask for a better technical, <laughs> like shenanigans, than that right there. That was great. Oh, I think oh, the professor votes for uh, staying still until the storm passes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, after seeing. Uh, Herrick's magic cube last night. I could sit down and get a little bit of a warm up, and we could just let this pass us by. Oh, I'm afraid it's just a one off use. Oh, I'm well, only joking. I, I'm only I, guess, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have to huddle up for uh, for body heat. I mean, I know it's a common magic item, but come on, nice. that's just sad. All right. Herrick's there was genuine terror in my eyes when you were like, it's a one off use item. I'm like, we're in the middle of a blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Are we hunkering down? Are we? Oh, I'm. My boat is hunkered down. Yeah. I yeah. think that's the safest bet. I've seen storms like these before. Uh, if we get off course, we're not going to save any time. So, I best agree. just ride it out. I think we should wait. Uh, okay. so how long have we got, DM? Till it hits. Till it hits. I say it's, so. It's traveling. Oh, is it coming? So you, you've got maybe about another thirty minutes of travel. So if you want to try to, if you if you are like want to push yourselves towards it, can we look then, around like, to see if there's any it. like yeah. you know like a copse of trees or something that might give a little shelter, or something where Cain, like a good Grindy. place to hunker down. So if we are, so if if, if I Cain share Grindy. with you all, uh, so you're looking at sort of the map of Icewind Dale. Hang on a second, let me actually put you on that map so that way you all can see what I'm talking about. So if you're looking at the map of Icewind Dale. Woo, we're so really you are currently like right here in the midst of this tundra. If you see, can you see my ping on that? Uh, do it again. Uh, you did it again, I'm please. not getting a ping. Not getting a ping. Do you have your arrow clicked? Let me zoom. Hang on a sec. Let me close that out. Oh, I got you. Yeah, there, there. Yeah, arrow. Oh, 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 map. Let's try that. How about now? How about now? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I yeah. say when you're on the GM layer and things aren't <laughs> helping. All right. So like, so you're currently here. So this is like, so you have sort of the there mountains around you, but there is yep. not a whole lot between Bryn Shander and, uh, and, and the land to which you are traveling. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll look for um, shelter 
if yeah, so anything I think the, that can be shelter. Yeah, even like big rocks or anything. Yeah, we could so, yeah. kind of like. So as you sort of push yourselves forward, you're able to sort of to hunker down, which is just uh, I, if you guys want to try to bust out like a tent or anything like that, that's fantastic. But um, all right, do we um, need to tie tie the axe beak to uh, to keep yes. it with us? Yeah, yeah, keep keep a hold of that axe beak. And to that point, everyone, roll me another survival check. Do, do, do. Oh, boy. What does oh, oh, good. A 16. I got it. Okay, so Wait. we've got 21. 21. A 12. A 21. A 16. A Let's 6. A, a 16. Survival and survival. their perfect is coming in clutch with a critical. So well done. So that is fail, success, success, <laughs> fail, success, success. So on a ratio of 4 to 2. The party succeeds. So well done. You're able to hunker down, get the axe beak to sort of, <laughs> which I imagine sounds like that that animal from uh, uh what is it up from up? <laughs> it's just like <laughs> oh Kevin. <laughs> Kevin yeah. All right, so yeah, that's exactly it. So it manages to hunker down, and then like you all sort of nestle in uh, around it, and do I think a like, tent storm... would help? What's that? Do I think a tent would help then? I mean, some sort of cover to keep the, the winds off of you wouldn't be a bad idea. I'll, I'll pull out and set me ten so, uh, what we just did there was a, a shared skill check. So basically, I have the entire party roll, and then I have the DC that they have to beat. And then if the entirety, if the majority of the party beats that DC, then the entire party succeeds. This is a wonderful way to sort of allow your party to get into situations that if, like, for instance, we all need to be very, very quiet and try to get through this scenario. And if you want the party to have a chance of doing that, when you say, for instance, have a, a heavily armed combatant in the party who goes, clank, clank, it's like, well, there's no way in hell their own stealth roll is going to survive that. But with a party stealth roll, they're able to do that. And so for these survival rolls, which um, uh, Ice, uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden loves to do these sort of everyone works together because nature is a mother and she will kill you. Um, so that way, all of these sort of things allow the party to succeed, building both group dynamics and at the same time, surviving. So, ding. Um, all right, so you managed to survive that first roll and like that hour comes by and the snows are going, all right? And it sounds like everyone's staying put. Yeah, oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> Love definitely. That. No, 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 you, wise, wise you are. Oh, oh, friends of mine. All right, so yeah, this so this storm is gonna keep on a blowing. Let's see how much longer you guys have to endure. Okay, okay, so it's gonna take about uh, another three hours for it to sort oh of God. whip through, and you like it's just like you. So you're all kind of hunkered down, and it's just it just sounds like you're it sounds like you're in a hurricane that is also at the same time freezing you to the bones that is also like trying to just rip you to pieces it's like blizzards are no joke so we've got the thermal cube so yeah no that was a fantastic Good old thermal cube so everybody in the party got to pick a common magical item as part of my dm boon before starting the game because also they're adventurers they, they might have something uh and uh herrick went ahead and picked the thermal cube i was very close to picking the uh Oh, so handy have a stack of herbs or whatever it was called <laughs> that's a fantastic that, that little pouch of herbs that yeah. you can just like magically pull out yeah no that's really... every day i was gonna pick that no with your with your clutch cooking skills i might have you find that at some point because that's <laughs> yeah that's definitely something you want nice all right so friends as you wait out the storm how do we pass the time oh it's lovely and warm in here isn't it <laughs> so I, uh, I, I think we should tell the professor about our uh, our our other, you know, catch him if we can. The uh, the ice stabbing in the heart with the icicle killer. Um, oh, the murderers! We, the, there's someone who's stalking around and killing people by stabbing them in the heart with icicles or ice knives or something, and. Um, we uh, on the way into Brenchander, we were told now that, that does sound interesting. 
on the way in that we were told if we could figure out who this was and deal with that situation that there there could be some pay in that as well um the uh the, the murderer has has killed a halfling trapper in east haven a human shipbuilder in targos and a dwarf in in Bryn shander so it's it's kind of all over the place at the moment We do have a bit have of a lead they as well. Have found any patterns toward, uh, This is where I get to one. see who, who's, who's the crime drama fan in the group. There's one. There's um, where a couple. Where these uh, murders have been occurring. There's a pair of people, Torga and Sefek, who run sled dog teams between the towns, and apparently... Each time a murder has taken place, they have been visiting that town in close proximity to the time of the murders. So there could be a lead there, potential that they're involved. There's also perhaps something funny going on with that Sephic fellow. Um, seems to wander around in the, this weather with no cold weather gear or anything and not mind it, which I don't know about you, but I think that's a bit odd. Yeah. And don't forget, he has those really brilliant blue eyes. Yes, yes. Hmm. Your DM is very happy with your note taking. <laughs> that was like scrambling. You, you dropped so much. Oh, no, on no, us. I, I regurgitated <laughs> exposition at you last game. So, huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> hmm. So, that's the situation thus far. Nate's still there? I oh, know he's struggling right now. I say. Though, for the professor, the pensive look is a good look. So it's like, <laughs> Yes. Mm, true. True. Mm. Mm, I'm thinking. I told him to turn oh. his camera off for a bit. So ah, there it is. Okay. Help. All right, friends. So, go ahead and give me another survival yeah, we'll check. See if, we'll see if that helps. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, another survival check as you pass this hour of the blizzard. We have a success, a success. Oh, 16. Fail. A success. Oh, a nine. Fail. I'm, I'm not made to survive. 12. Oh my oh God. My God. Girls Ladies and gentlemen, her Here name is Silvana, and she is like the queen of the <laughs> of ice. Survival. She's just like, she's crushing it. Okay, so yeah, we had a success, a success, a fail, a success, a fail and a success. Yet again, another four to two ratio. So yeah, fantastically enough, you you pass this final ch chunk of time as the wizard, as the wizard, as the wizard whips around you. Oh, help me! <laughs> All right, so no, uh, as the Xander, blizzard. You okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye now. As Bye. Who is the blizzard? Just the head for a moment there. <laughs> yeah, the <blizzard. laughs> That's the last time I play with whirlwind. All right. <laughs> as the blizzard whips around you and starts to, you start to. Like it starts to, you feel the energy of it move past you as it's starting to die out a little bit. You, um, Zolvana, with that wonderful twenty-three, you, 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 you get the feeling that it would be okay to start moving on now. Like at least packing up camp a little bit and starting to shuffle. And in the distance, as if a signal to that, the gray starts to separate out, and you begin to see the peak of Kelvin's Carn in the distance, as if the sky is starting to open up again. And so we still have a, an idea of where we're headed. Are we are we headed for Kelvin's Carn? Yes, indeed. Because the okay. the transport was between the mountain to the town of Brenchander, and they take a direct route, just straight. So you head straight for the mountain. Do we have a sense of how close we are to it? Um, see, this gets you. They were so when you talked with Runa, she said that they were about halfway in between, and so you guys are able to get yourselves at least uh, like a good three quarters of the way two before the before the storm hit and then once you hunker down you think you have only about maybe a a quarter left of the travel to make of the travel okay. of the trip to make so right all right so everyone uh we yeah. journeying on pack up tent turn the thermal yeah. cube off mm -hmm. love it feels love it. like it's so, dying down let's do this yeah dig it so as you go ahead and venture forth you you crest uh, the snow covered ridge and right there in front of you uh who Speaking of which, what is the marching order? Um, I will put uh, up front. I, I'm on point. I, I would, feel like I would be up front as well. 
Oh, dig no. it, dig it. Okay, so Put so me I've got somewhere in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Nate, I know you're I know you're lagging right now, but also I feel like this this vocal choice is um, not a terrible choice for the. <laughs> like I'm gonna be somewhere in the middle. Like thinking about <laughs> movement speed, though, I'd probably be at the back. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our, our, our Herrick at the back. We've got uh, Flynn, Fariel at the front, uh, Xander and the Professor middle-ish. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll occupy that kind of middle area. As Dig well. it. And then Zilvana, where where are you staking your claim? I'll be in the back middle. <laughs> <laughs> the back middle, yes. <laughs> the illustrious back middle. <laughs> teaching teaching Herrick how to play the uh, the lute. I love it. Uh, I love it. Uh, uh, so like that way, I can go between the professor. Formation. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> then I can go like between like the the professor and Xander and then also Herrick. Dig it. Dig it. Because I, like I need it. to talk to people. No, of course. <laughs> Social <laughs> creature that you are. She's like, I need to talk to people. I need to notice the weather. I am observant as And hell. and that's why Ferial's way up in the front because she does not want to talk. <laughs> She's like yeah. happy to be the vanguard. All right. So uh so then Flynn and Fariel, as you two crest the snow covered ridge, you see the frozen disembodied corpse in a gully in front of you. Uh, the snow covers up some of the gore from the, the blizzard that just ripped through, but the headless torso and the severed limbs remain. You see uh, tracks, smears, uh, sort of uh, the telltale grooves in the snow uh, that of like the sled that has been sort of dragged off. Um, yeah, this, this appears to be the corpse of Ukbuk, the dwarf. Uh, the yeti that killed him decided to go ahead and have a, a grand old feast on what was left of him and then kind of throw everything else willy-nilly. Um, so there's just this sort of gore-spattered scene in front of you. And then uh, go ahead and the two of you, Flynn, Fariel, make me a survival check. Uh, while they're doing that, DM, you said we see tracks as if the sled has been dragged in a direction. Yes, indeed. Oh, damn, you guys are coming in clutch with these survival <laughs> yeah. checks. I'm going to start adding some higher DCs on that. So with a 20 and an 18, you absolutely see that, like, there are tracks in the snow. And they, like, the and the sled themselves have been dragged off. But to your eyes, with a 20 and an 18, they are small humanoid footprints around it as if they're like they as if like several things are moving this sled wearing snowshoes uh, the tracks lead south so you say oh party of mine what do you say flynn fariel do you guys pass this information along you yep. see that flynn yep feet well snowshoes which means it was snow it was stolen but that means it was stolen by like sentient things we don't have to worry about white claw walkers I mean, <laughs> that's, true. that's true yeah oh my god you guys look it's a sled full of iron oh, no, <laughs> take it. so tired someone push me <laughs> <laughs> so um uh, my guess is definitely bandits do you say bandits I, I mean your guess is as good as mine i don't know um i guess we should tell everybody else what's going on um uh, can i look at the dwarfs remaining pieces just to see if there's anything on him like that might need to be returned to his compatriots you know if he has any like anything I, that might matter to no, somebody abso yeah absolutely absolutely so um I, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with an investigation check there's a there's enough <laughs> there's enough left of him um <laughs> uh that you're able to see but there is, he does have a little um, a, a necklace uh, of, of a hammer that is the, the, the emblem uh, and then on top of that that emblem of the hammer there's the foaming mug uh, that is the sort of the the, the image of their clan that, that and so uh, if you were to imagine to take that and return yeah I'll take that yeah. so if we think it's and... bandits you might want to check his pockets if he's got no coin on him then maybe yeah it's bad yeah if he was robbed does he still have pockets point. does he still have pockets i mean <laughs> <laughs> so He's probably in order to check pockets. his pockets it, you have to, like, to have where's pockets? that half you, you gotta have to fall through some some gristle a little bit and like like uh, 
Like, if he had pockets, I mean, someone made him into a pocket, essentially. So, oh, oh, fourth oh, pockets. Oh, <laughs> what are you gonna pick? <laughs> oh, no. uh, my crossbow is visual. out. My crossbow is out. Like, no. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. tracks on the ground. Uh, dwarf torso. So we either got bandits or a yeti. So a crossbow is definitely out. In or the... I'll do a medicine check. How was he killed? Clearly so so Uckbok, uh was like absolutely like was eaten like there are like chunks of him like his internal organs are sort of left out and uh, and his severed head is sort of like it looks as if it's been like ripped from his torso and tossed to the side and as if something like literally started to gnaw on his torso like just crack him open. Like those old uh, juice gonna... things where you t like crack yeah. the top open. Yeah, I'm right, right. Check his torso. Uh, Has he got any like weapon wounds previous to that? Or no, none that you can tell. Because remember, my question Oop. though, did the bandits just opportunistically find him who is eaten by a yeti? So were with... they somehow working with the yetis, or did they kill him and take the cart and then the yeti? came upon the body later and ate it. Oh, I like this thinking. So can I roll an investigation to see how the track, the snowshoe tracks and the Yeti tracks kind of interact with each other? You absolutely can. However, with your roll of a 20 and an 18 earlier, you notice that the tracks, the small humanoid tracks that were uh, like, that are following the sled tracks were fresher than all of the carnage left by the Yeti, as if the Yeti incident had occurred earlier, blizzard hit, and then perhaps towards the end, like, so very recently was the, the small humanoid tracks. Gotcha. Though I do like the idea of like a Yeti bandit, like, hey, triad, anything can happen. Happening, like, so no, confirm, I'm confirm Yeti like, then. I'm glad you like it because I don't like it in the least. Oh no, we're giving him ideas. So, it, are the ingots still there? Oh, the 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 sled oh, track. It's not here. Yeah, yeah. That like goes like the, it's it's yeah like it's oh, you can probably follow, follow that track. Let's follow the track then. I pull hint, out. I think we wink, follow the track. wink, hint. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean that was the plan. <laughs> we I will pull out my shield and my weapons ready. That's right. Stay on track. <laughs> wow. Well, what track? Yeah. Hey, you, you asked me to DM, you knew what was going to happen. All right. Well, if, if everyone else is, is drawing and weaponing up, then, then I will also draw a rapier just to, just to be ready. I imagine Xander kind of looking around and be like, oh, oh, okay, I guess we're doing this then. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, are we, are we close? To, we're close to losing light as well. So, so yes, we are. So with the 10, so it was like two o'clock ish when the blizzard hit. So like that twilight hour is starting to fade out a little bit and, we're, well, we're getting in. Then that's great because my rapier being out will be helpful because it is moon touched. Oh, very Ooh. nice. Very nice. So anyone can see that lovely 15 foot of bright, 15 foot of dim. Yes. That's nice. I have and dark vision. I'm good. With <laughs> our survival checks, is there, or if we need to roll something else, is, can we estimate time like that these little footprints were made? Like how far behind are we from them? Yeah, imagine you're about maybe a half hour behind them. So these okay. are like they this very recently did they like snatch up this sled and start to run? So if, if we it. move quickly, we might be able to catch them. Yes. All right. So here's the question: Do we move quickly with haste or quickly with stealth? Mm. I feel like stealth and quick like go opposite. <laughs> <laughs> can we go quickly that translates for like, to a high dc <laughs> what, if, yeah. what if we go quickly for a little while and then when we think we're close then we start to stop can we get like a 15 minutes of haste yeah like a 15 no. minutes still? Just, you know <laughs> i love you all. no this, 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 this is D and D right here is the haggling <laughs> all right, some sauce so uh with your snowshoes which I, would, I just want everyone to like take a moment and picture yourself trying to with haste in snowshoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Stealthy. Yeah, it's that, it's that like goofy kind of duck run sort of thing going on. Like, <laughs> so, okay. So <laughs> y'all got about 15 minutes of that happening. Oh, my quads. <laughs> <laughs> 
my quads are burning. <laughs> uh, and then I need everyone to go ahead and roll me uh, a stealth check. Like, Suck Ooh. it up, princess. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, guys. Come and clutch. Group stealth. Group stealth. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 no. Oh, no. This is not good. I have disadvantage on so, stealth. So I, I have a 22. I finally hit something that wasn't. <laughs> I have like, a 12. Oh, well, well, for, well, viewers at home, that was interesting. All right. So uh, for the stealth check, Xander came in with an amazing 22. Fariel crit failed so i imagine she like was running was running running caught just a little bit too much snow in the shoe and went Oops, and just like i'm not used it. to these big ass <laughs> shoes yeah it's, it's, they're totally ham like hampering your style uh professor came in with a 12 that is that is still a fail but it was a valiant effort all right uh not bad and then uh let's say zolvana with a 17 that'll do it so we're, we're tied two to two friends and then here's the sadness so uh herrick came in at disadvantage with a five and then uh F Flynn, how Flynn, how are you rolling at disadvantage for this? I have chainmail as <laughs> my armor apparently, and I don't like that. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so uh, that was a five, and then of course the final one being an eight. So um, it seems like haste, and then haste again as uh, as all of you just like that so that initial fifteen minute burst of like running just winded you so bad <laughs> that you just like. You, they could probably uh, hear yeah. Herrick laughing as he's like, oh, come on, get out. There's no time to eat snow. I trip on the barrel. Running. Tries to that pick barrel up. <laughs> <laughs> My lungs. <laughs> these <laughs> these Ooh, blasted I got, shoes. I got, I got the asthma. I got the get asthma. You, All right. So uh, as you go ahead and get yourselves into position, <laughs> not stealthily, mind you, uh, you see about... A uh, hundred and twenty feet in the distance, the sled, and surrounding that sled, and say, "Oh yeah, go ahead and uh, position yourselves uh, up here in the." Ooh, I'm gonna say, Ryan, get on the right level. There we go. Uh, objects and tokens. Yeah, there we go. So put yourselves up here in the corner, my friends. Up in that top right corner, and. Oh yeah, how do I do this again? I'm sorry. No worries, no worries. So if you go ahead and go to what would be like the little newspaper uh, yeah. on the side of Roll20, you ah. should your character, click on it, drag it, drop it. Got it. You should Thank be able you. to see yourself in all of your bardy glory. Uh, can you tell me one more time, DM, that, so that the, the blue circle is the AC, the green circle is our hit points. What's the red? Uh, red is your uh, is percept. No, red is your health. Which need updating. Yeah, red is health. Oh, okay. Green is perception, and blue is your armor class. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. All right, friends. And uh, so, as you see in the distance, about 120 feet in front of you uh, is a pack of goblins that are currently shoving this sled through the snow rather fussily. Oi, <laughs> <laughs> you filthy maggots. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. You're not in charge. All right. So. And that is where we'll go ahead and take our five-minute bio break. Oh. We can go ahead and figure out yes. what y'all are going to do. So, friends at home, stay tuned. We'll be back in just five minutes, and we'll see if this group is better left for sled. Oh, God. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Cold Hard Witch. I'm the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the F and DM. And when we last left our intrepid adventurers, they were about to throw down with a goblin party. So now we might make friends with them. You don't know that. You know what? That's fair. That's the professor's fair. gonna write up a diplomatic contract and submit I mean, it. You know what? <laughs> this is this is D and D. This is the land of possibilities. Make friends. A very very sternly worded letter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's not mad. He's just disappointed. All right. <laughs> oh. I love it. So uh, out in front, we have uh, Feriel the Rogue, Flynn the Fighter, and then of course taking up the middle, we've got Xander the wi Wizard. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we giving away your uh, your your speciality just yet? Uh, I mean, not just yet. Yeah. No. Of course not. We'll keep that secret. Shh. Secret secrets. Um, so Flynn, the wizard, the professor, Reginald, and of course, uh, in the middle back, back middle, is Zalvana the bard. <laughs> and then of course, way in the back, because he's a dwarf, is Herrick, the clerically speaking warrior. All right. 
All right, friends. I'm a wizard oh. now. <laughs> as, yeah, I'm a wizard. All right. <laughs> Uh, so, friends, uh, as you go ahead and uh, Fariel, Flynn, you are the first two over the ridge. You see that the characters you've been following appear to be goblins based on their stature. Very tiny squat and also like the kind of grunts and groans as you hear them like carried on the wind behind you. Uh, all of six of them are cursing loudly as they try to haul this bulky sled towards what appears to be a 20 foot tall wagon parked in the snow. As uh, and so your, your friendly DM will reveal to you now. Off in the distance there. Um, harnessed to this uh, conveyance. Ooh, look at that. Busting out the big words. Uh, are two mm. roaring polar bears <gasps> that don't look too happy. So. Oh. Okay. Oh, party. Oh, they're so majestic. <laughs> <laughs> Just, they're like a big fuzzy kitten with short tails all right <laughs> so friends what do you do do they look like they've noticed us i realize they... our entrance was amazing <laughs> as thunderous as your uh, <laughs> as your entrance was they are so focused and again so this oh just as a heads up party this uh, map here is 10 foot squares oh jesus ding 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 right, so good shout out to them get off our cart you maggots yeah, yeah. So they're they're about a hundred. They're they're a chunk away. So while your thunderous entrance was glorious, uh, they did not notice it as they were very much focused on. Shut! Come on, you maggots! Stop calling me a maggot. We have unions. It's like so they're so like they're just they're they, trying to get they, this thing. Are they pulling it or are they pushing it? I'm trying they're to look put, at their their array here. Kind of like it looks like there's a couple of them, sort of like grabbing the, the bars in the middle and like pulling and then the other two are kind of like pushed in the back and the guy then obviously this like Joe Schmo off to the right here is the uh, the I guess he thinks he's the supervisor uh, yeah. so. mm -hmm. are they, but they're moving in the direction of the they're wagon absolutely with the polar bears yeah. that's them. their goal yeah. we yep. need to get the, to that okay. before they get to the wagon any y'all like, speak goblin yeah does anyone speak goblin <laughs> anyone, I goblin? Uh, don't no I don't think so. They're they sound awfully aggravated. They, I'm not they sure what do. they're saying, but it's like they're they're trying to. T I kind of I can't I kind of want to see if we want to talk to them first um, to see if they'll 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 block off. If if anyone wants to back me up on this, I mean, <laughs> sure. Since when so, have goblins been friendly? I, I I'm right behind you. I mean, well, you're oh, a cool. goblin. <laughs> I speak you... goblin. Of course. Of Wait, course. Crips is, Crips is war pick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little rough in translation, but it gets the point across. It does <laughs> <laughs> Let me try so we're going to try to talk to him or we're just going to try to kill him? I'm going to try and talk to him. Keep a bolt ready over my shoulder. Cause... All right. Like I oh, say. I'll watch you. Can back. I go? Can I go with you? People like me. Please. Oh, this is yeah. gonna be funny. <laughs> oh yeah. I'd like, think, to, think I'd like to, to step forward with uh, with you as well. All right. Okay. Okay. So stepping forward, uh, as I understand it, I'm is sorry, going to be okay. I'm not letting Flynn the go on their own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is Flynn, uh, Flynn the fighter, and then the professor steps forward as well. Now keep in mind, y'all. Uh, it is you. You are outside, and it is a good eighty feet that you are trying to holla at these uh, at these goblins. So, uh, yeah. Should we, should we move? Should uh, we get closer? Yeah, yeah, we should get closer. I mean, um, if you try, if you're trying to come across peaceable, it might be hard to be like, hey, yeah. Hey, um, you want some help? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to try to kind of hide but keep pace a little bit like off to the side so i can if i can try to like cover them but not make my presence known if possible. okay okay so i will uh, if you want i will say that you have like you've got maybe your bow down by your side and you've got the arrow already knocked on the right. string but you're not drawing it back just yet but you've got the skills to be able to be like and just like like snipe that as soon as you can but you're not 
standing there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Poor old man at Helm's Deep, just like... <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, right? It's like, talk faster! <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Because nobody wants that moment. Uh, I mean, yeah, maybe oh, I do, but... I'm, right. I'm stowing the crossbow to, to come off as less threatening. Okay, um, excellent. excellent. Okay, yeah, so the party approaching is... Help me out here, friends. Flynn the fighter, the professor, Herrick, and Zilvana. Yes. Dig it. Yes. Okay, cool. So yep. uh, go ahead and move yourselves uh, closer. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Wait, what? How'd you... <laughs> he is right up in amongst. <laughs> I like how somehow the dwarf managed to clear like an 80 foot distance. <laughs> so, oh, he's uh, okay. Ryan, are, are, are these bits here like actual vertical bits of terrain that we have to do? Yeah, with? so like you, you see kind of in the ridges themselves, like there's little, so there's a, a bit of a of an elevation there a little bit, but it's 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 not going to be anything to write home about. It may give you hope, but it's not going to give you cover. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I just, I just If if Fariel is going to kind of come out to the side a little bit, I'm going to be out to the side a little as well. All right, awesome. So as everyone sort of like starts to fan out, then da 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 da. All right, so it's gonna be uh, so the goblin, the the goblin, the ad hoc goblin leader sort of comes forward, like, "Who are you? What do you want?" Oh, sweet Jesus, thank you. Hi, hi. Uh, I'm Flynn. Uh, these are my pals here. Uh, what 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 you, what's go what's going on here? What you guys got got going on? What the um. Cart, we we found it. We didn't steal it. Oh, cool! You found it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we found stuff out here all the time. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. No, it's crazy out here. Um, what do you like? Do you, do do you want it? I mean, wait. I don't know. It's heavy. And well, yeah, yeah. it's it's got stuff on it, but. I don't really want to push it anymore. I hate this thing. Gosh. I will. Oh, my back. I'm so tired. Shut up, you guys. All right. Um, well, 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 well listen why, here, buddy. You want it? I mean, look here. Look, 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 it's heavy. You don't want to push it. It's cold. Y'all look cold. You know, uh, I, I am cold. I mean, like, y'all y'all shouldn't be out here doing this hard work out here in the snow. Y'all know a blizzard passed through here not too long ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There used to be eight of us. Used to be eight. One, two, three, four. Well, There's only six. Y'all lost two people in that blizzard. Oh, man. <laughs> well, then, right. then you should clearly be at home grieving your friends. That's this is. Is this, this, is no is this conversation to... going on in in Goblin or Common? Oh, this is Common. This is Common. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't think any of y'all speak dumbfounded. Goblin. No, no, I don't speak Goblin. goblin. <laughs> I told you, yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a it's a mountain tongue that he's. Yeah, it's good. Good. All right. So, uh, yeah. So he. Well, fine then. If you want it, what are you gonna give us for it? Your lives. <laughs> oh, oh my ten god! Seconds. No, 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 hey, hey, <laughs> hey! Wait, what? <laughs> he was just kidding. Don't yeah. mind him. It's, it's, gotta... it's you know humor. We're, we're we're working on a stand-up comedy routine, and it's it's not going well. We're, we're an improv group. <sighs> are those kind of are those your bears? What? Are those your bears? Oh, that's the. Uh... Yeah. Maybe. Who's asking? They're cute. I am. No, they're not. They're mean. They'll rip your limbs off. Oh. What well, do they eat? Goblins. These fingers. Jeez, <laughs> oh. crow. Well, uh, look, look here. What if I, what if I, what if I gave you uh, ten silver pieces for your trouble? <gasps> right? You leave this here. Y'all, y'all can go on, get out of here, and we'll just like, take this off your hands. I, like they all start to like, like all of them. I, what's going on? Ten silver pieces. Oh my god. Shut up! Shut up! All right, we're listening. Ten silver pieces is pretty good. Yeah. What about a? What about a blanket too? You got one of them? Yeah, buddy, I got a blanket. Yes. <laughs> there was. Yes, I thought that was a good deal. Nice job. Okay, fine then. Ten, ten silver pieces, and uh, and a blanket. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Here, here you go. It's a, I get so like, <laughs> drop Excellent. ten silver pieces. <laughs> These are mine. Hand off. All right. <laughs> Give him one of my blankets, and then I'm gonna take a torch out. I'm gonna light it, 
Be like, here, sit, hold, hold, hold on to this. Y'all freezing out here. He gave me a fire stick. Now you just all huddle around it real close. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, while, while this is happening, DM, I'm gonna casually look back at Fairyel and be like. <laughs> yeah, she's Sorry. just she's got her bow down. She's just like. What's yeah, you can probably see Harrick just shaking his head. Oh, <laughs> y'all are diplomacy. Y'all are y'all are spinning gold for me right now. I really. <laughs> How much for the bears? We don't want the bears. Oh, the, we I can't don't know have. If we want the bears. We can't have the bears. They pull the wagon. What's on the How wagon? much for the wagon? We can't, we can't have the wagon. That's that's our home. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Professor. What do you have in the wagon? Anything of interest? That's not me. Professor, you're so. It's our house. Like, I, 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 I've got my shoes in there. Oh my god. Wait, you're not wearing oh. your shoes? Well, I, we were in a hurry. I, I thought I had to get out here. No, I'm not not interested in in shoes of anything like that. Uh, I mean, I have more more silver, another blanket. Do you have anything of uh, anything well, interesting, anything? anything of use? Oh, gems. Can, uh, have you got any gems? <laughs> <laughs> no. That sounds familiar. <laughs> no, we don't have any gems. We just. We just we just lost our minds for ten silver pieces, pal. Do that, do that again and go. No way, no way. <laughs> no way, no way, you know what? no way, no way. No way. No, we don't have any. Off you go then, before your yeah. feet get frozen. <laughs> like on, one. Oh, find find yourself like a hot meal and and stay warm. God bless you. Oh God. Everyone. Oh. oh. <laughs> What oh, really? oh, I was gonna get a wound. Like, just... <laughs> right. so, sure enough, you... God, you clever, clever masters. All right then. <laughs> so, uh, with with that, uh, this group of goblins just shuffles off, and then and here's a little one with the crutch. It's just like, thank you. Oh, Aww. Bye, shuffles on back. Tiny Tim. Um. And then, like you see them, sort of like mount up in the uh, uh, in the wagon, and they uh, so the, the bears. And they start to just sort of slowly turn the cart and and, and go along their way. Uh, this prolonged winter has made them as miserable as everybody else in Icewind Dale. Um, Good. Uh, honestly, no, that was. <laughs> That was. <laughs> <laughs> you do know it would have been quicker just to kill him. I yeah, but you, you saw like I didn't think they were gonna talk back like, to me. <laughs> like quicker in real time. <laughs> or like <laughs> I mean, six seconds is usually quicker than what happened there. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, um, yeah, Thirty seconds. I'm a little bit confused. I mean, every goblin that I've ever met on Faerun is a shit and a murderer. It's. Well, I mean, they they seemed pretty, pretty chill, not smart. So, yeah, I don't know if they were chill or just stupid. Maybe the cold has gotten to their brains. They yeah. haven't wronged us in any way. Uh, uh, well, let's hook this. Still in Yeti bad, territory. Let's hook this bad boy up and and get to moving. Yes, let's do this. Hook up the axe beak. Yeah, I'll do that. Ooh. Brilliant. Okay, so you guys go ahead, turn about, hook up that axe beak. Uh, it is able to go ahead and start hauling this this cart. Did we we knew how many ingots we were supposed to be getting, right? Yeah. yeah so uh, can they we check talk... the cart to make sure that it's yep. that everything is there? Absolutely, you can. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Can I assist? Most de so they make that investigation check with advantage. Oh, wait, provided you both are proficient in a... Uh, I your... sure am. Lovely. And then, yeah. Cheryl, how about yourself? I am proficient. Lovely. Okay, so when two when two players are proficient in an ability, I, we allow them to roll with advantage, if they wish, uh, for the one roll. Rather than having six characters all roll normally, advantage just helps. Numerically. 
And sure it did. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Burial came out with a critical investigation. So yeah, not only are you able to determine like that all the ingots are there, like you know egg like to the gram. You're like, yeah, this is uh, a <laughs> let's see, yeah, that's three hundred pounds, iron ingots weigh another six hundred pounds, total of nine hundred pounds and such yep nope that's yeah it's all there okay great so yeah no it's all okay no, don't worry but an ingot has been lost yay and, uh, and with a 23 investigation you even sort of figure out that like one of them like one of the goblins clearly tried to like bite one right, and his see if it was teeth marks on this one it's sadder and sadder did his did the tongue here. freeze to the to the iron <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's that little patch of a little like, tip of the goblin little tongue right on it too. Oh, yeah. a little little tip of goblin tongue yeah <laughs> Uh, smells funny. It's a band right. name. Awesome sauce. Wow. So, well, look at y'all playing with kindness. I love that. Oh. Conversating and stuff. Oh yeah, conversating and stuff. Because remember, I say we all get through this together. So, uh, you go ahead, tie that axe beak up, and go ahead and make your schlep back to Bryn Shander. Mm -hmm. Well done. Uh, go ahead, oh party of mine, and roll me a survival check. All of us. I say party survival check, yes, as you're all trying to make sure that the sled gets back and the axe beak isn't, you know, getting too harangued. Okay, so we have a... It's a nine. Fifteen. A nineteen. That's two wins. Ooh, a nine. Oh, a, a six. six. Ooh, that's two, two to two, friends. And then Tiberius comes in with an eighteen. Nice. And then uh, Zulvana coming in clutch hit again with a twenty-one. <laughs> Four to two. Y'all are consistent. I'll give you that. So Four to two, like you're you are traveling back to Bryn Shander with this first survival check. You you nicely done. And as you're sort of walking along the snow, that axe beak is so like it's it's huffing and puffing, and you guys are able to make really, really good time with that. Well Did Haruna tell us if the axe beak had a name? She didn't. She didn't uh have uh give you the name of the axe beak. For her it was just sort it's, of it's borrowed, so she may not know. Yeah, right. So uh, but you you are more than welcome to try to Axe? Yeah, face. I, I feel like we should give it a name. Call it something. He is working quite hard for us. Yeah. Did I? What did you call it? Axe Beak? Axe the Axe Beak? <laughs> not not Axe Xander. Paul! Uh, Paul? <laughs> he looks like a Paul. Paul! <laughs> for, for just a moment, I thought you said Hall. <laughs> <laughs> what about Franklin? Oh, oh I adore Franklin. that name. <laughs> no, not Franklin. No, not Franklin. Oh, oh, Paul. Uh, well, because you're part foul. Paul. Oh, 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 oh. hmm? you, you like oh, Paul? Paul. Okay. Paul. Paul. It is. Paul. It is. Paul. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I look to the the learned people. Are you sure this creature hasn't been polymorphed? I'm not uh, sure about anything anymore. Can I tell if this creature has been polymorphed? <laughs> if you want to make a, if you want to make an Arcana check, you certainly can. It's far too intelligent. <laughs> not uh, with nineteen. With with a nineteen, uh, this this is just this is a, a, an axe beak, a, a rather personable axe beak, um, uh, and and opinionated, but it, it's just that's an axe beak. Mm. It just seems to have be a, a little more charming. No, Herrick, it just appears it's likes the name Paul. Ha! Ah! Well, strange. <laughs> Very strange. Uh, so do oh, uh, you're so funny. <laughs> do Axe Beaks understand a language? I mean, <laughs> that sounds like he it, does. I think he understands common fairly uh -huh. well. I, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna look back to Herrick and say I I have no idea what's happening right now. Uh, <laughs> am I am I dreaming? Did I eat a mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. So uh, let's say the, DM. I sent you a, a, a private chat. I am um, also sending you a private chat. <laughs> because, because I, I am something. now petitioning you to keep Paul in the party. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I've already been thinking about plans to try to buy him. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. Aww. Um So I, I love that. I love that. Okay. So uh 
Xander, to answer y- your question as mm-hmm. you're traveling along and like the, the the night gets darker, you're fading away, like you're getting farther and farther away from the torchlight. Yeah, y- y- there is that glow. Okay. That seems to be showing up. Uh, and then, the Professor, as you reach out into the mind of Paul, you hear. <laughs> so, Tarek has now discovered that he is a cleric and he casts a uh, guiding bolt. <laughs> <laughs> we still have to get it back to town. He's like, he's like, yep, now we're going to have chicken. <laughs> it's going to taste delicious. Chicken for dinner? Biggest no. damn rotisserie chicken you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So, uh, yes. Friends, you are able to go ahead and get yourselves back to Bryn Shander with Paul the Axe-Beak. <laughs> D&D, y'all. Who D&D. is delightfully clever for an Axe-Beak. Yeah, oh, delightfully clever for an Still just a dumb Axe-Beak. axe-beak. I, yeah. I dare say it, it, it might be the, the DM's fault for that. But, all right. So, uh, <laughs> how long has this journey taken? About what time? So, it, it, it took, so uh, as discussed in the last game, it was going to take you uh, about a day to make the journey. So, you were able okay. to go ahead and get yourselves back out to the sled, get back in town. So, you find yourself now in the evening um, as you're pulling in to the north gate. So, uh, pull into the north gate, and Paul is still just, you know, I'm clomping along next to y'all. You, you, you did a fantastic job of making great time. Uh, at this point in the night, you you could attempt to deliver the shipment to Black Iron Blades. Um, let's or, get it or, done. Yeah, I, right, right. I was going right? to say, I, I yeah, would, let's I finish would it. fully wake Garn out from a deep sleep to finish a job. Yeah, no, I imagine, I imagine Garn very... being Garn, he's, he's not going to be too sad about that. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, very we, insistent. we turn up when I say, Paul, let him, oh. let him know we're here. Wow. <laughs> Paul Sing goes ahead and like, people, takes Paul. His, he takes his beak and goes <laughs> <laughs> the door. oh my god yeah. <laughs> just wood, I broke wood myself for a second flying. y'all I'm sorry hang on yeah. good buddy good buddy <laughs> and we're back <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to make that sound throughout the entire game how would you, you, you like, like goats uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I'm gonna have to kill Paul. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, y'all. Did you get on well with goats, Paul? All right, you're gonna have like, a goat X meat crossbreed. Uh, and oh. goat beak. <laughs> a goat beak. Axe goat. Axe <laughs> goat is a horned axe. Goat. All right, and so like, sure enough, you uh, you say you, you know, boom, 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 like, who in blue blazes is rocking up my door at this time? And it's Paul. Oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so it's Paul. That X speak just talk to me. It's Paul. Paul the X speak. Yeah, it's Paul. He. Yeah. Yeah. Happy He's quite personable. You. He's got brains. Did you all name the X speak? Of course. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, no, negative. We asked him his name. Oh, that's true. We we did. Ah. He named himself. Ah! <laughs> Scratched it in the snow with his own claw. No, we didn't. <laughs> Shut up. No, he, no, he didn't. We, named, we definitely named him Paul. All right. Good. Well, the, oh, oh, blessed Forge Father. And he just sort of stumbles forward, like, and just falls on the ingot. Oh, it's all there. Yes. Down sweet, to the last ingot. Sweet iron. Oh, bless. And he starts don't, shaking don't, hands with the whole Don't put group. your face Thank on you. that. Thank don't, you. Don't, Thank yeah, you. There's a little Thank bit you. Of, oh, Flynn. You always come through. Gods love you. You're fantastic. Oh, I knew I, I knew always it. come through. Oh, so, so what? What? So is everyone all right? You, everyone mm, bad news regarding your friend, unfortunately. What? Yeah. Um. I take out the, the necklace. And hand it over. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Now. Uh. I appreciate the offer, but. Uh, one, that, no party of mine. No, that's a that that should go to Haruna. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, that you, you want to hand that off to Haruna. She should be still at the North Look. Uh, if you haven't already stopped by. Not yet. We came straight oh. here. All right. Well, then, good. You 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 take that to her. That's that's important clan item. They they'd appreciate getting that returned, and I appreciate getting this returned. Oh, bless you all. All right. All right. Then let's see here. Uh, so, oh, I'm, I'm doing some math here for a second. One. So let's see. Here. Five silver pieces. So it's three, four, four, five, four, five, 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 five. All right, all right, all right. So I can give Olia 
I'll give you a, I'll give you 500 silver pieces for delivering this shipment to me and all of you, mm, 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 all of you now have a discount here at the Black Iron Blades. God's bless you for your travels. Oh, thank you so much for that. So, uh, does that seem a fair payment for the uh, ingot delivery? Uh, quite, yes. Ah, uh, thank did you. you. Did you say that was five, 500 for e each of us? No. <laughs> you, we're not going to find a job that good. <laughs> that's more than good enough. 50 you, gold. Flynn, that's, a good, that's a good job for a day. Flynn, you, you, got, you, you got yourself some real funny friends here. There. I did yeah. not mean to insult. I just misunderstood. Uh, you sure you do just misunderstood? Well, I mean, he, yeah. is, he is a professor, so in the, he may know more than us about this. Oh, that's that's fair. That's fair. He may know more, but I'll know uh, a lot more about what my wallet holds. So it's 500 silver pieces <laughs> for the lot, and thank you. That'll be just fine if uh, you're all amenable. If you're not amenable, then so I'll, I'll take it, and that'll be that. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that works. That works for us. Sounds good. Sounds good. So 500 silver pieces and a 10% discount here at the, uh, at the, what? Uh, can you, I could do 10%. I could do 10%. I could do 10. You, you, yeah, you could do 10% for them. They wouldn't got your stuff back. Like, pretty, well, yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, um, twist my arm and spit in my ear and call it pudding. I'm just, right. I'm just saying, uh, uh, I do need you to talk That's to Elsa disgusting. though. What, what, what you, what did you I do? I I've given I've I I gave my blanket to some goblins. I'm sorry. What? I gave my uh, blanket to some goblins. Uh, and a torch. And a torch. Mm. And ten silver pieces. And ten silver pieces. But no blood was spilled in getting the iron back. Shocking. Why would you waste ten silver pieces on how many of them were there? Did were you, you facing want an the army? Iron or not? It was six of them. What? I wait hey, ten silver pieces to six goblins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looked like more like one goblin was hoarding it all, but there there was a head goblin and like they lived in a cart. Garn, they had polar bears. You can't be. Their entire home was a wagon. You and he he looks to Herrick. You you were okay with this, paying the money to goblins. It was my money. I paid them. I didn't. It wasn't. The, it wasn't the party's pop coin. It was just mine. I don't know if it was the sausage or the tomato I ate this morning, but it's been a bit of a strange day. <laughs> I uh, am. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Garn, do you have any more of that uh, that that Astral Hellhound brand bird seed for for Paul here? He's 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 been pulling <laughs> this this cart for a while. He's he's a little bit hungry. I, I, well, no, I've got. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, no, there's a there's a. I could. Yeah, no, there's a stall. I could hook him up to astral. Well, what? Yeah. Well, you, you, the, the 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 astral hellhound uh, brand bird seed. <laughs> Purveyors no. of fine exotic feed. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I I could certainly try to get some on order if you know where the hell you find such a thing. Well, yeah. Exactly. Go go ahead and do that. Get some get some on order if you can. Astral, and the, the brand was Astral A Astral Hellhound. That's kind of Hellhound <laughs> Bird Seed. All right. I, th I think it only runs about 25 bits. Uh, uh 20 25 bits. All right. Uh, that, that that sounds about right. So Astral Hellhound Bird Seed. That's good. All right. Uh at Will regular bird seed appease? He looks up. Paul. 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 While uh, while we wait for the shipment to come well, in. Well, ask him. You're not serious. You you should you should do it at least once. You got he yes, did this. he did all the work bringing all these ingots back to you. <laughs> He's got a point. All right. Paul. Paul, would you prefer regular bird seed? <laughs> Paul has spoken. <laughs> okay, then. I think please, we should have broke Jade. <laughs> please leave my shop. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you're a good man, Garn. You're a good man. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're a good dwarf. Uh, should I? Do you want me to hook up Paul around back, or are you gonna take him 
with you. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, we'll 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 take we'll take the cart around back. Uh, we need to take Paul back to 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 Haruna though. <laughs> so that sounds. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. I'll just uh, give me a hand uh, unloading the ingots, and you can of course take the cart right uh, the sled back to Haruna. All right, so. I <laughs> Y'all, I planned for a lot of things tonight. What I did not plan for was <laughs> Paul the Axe Beak. <laughs> I can I can only begin to tell you that this was that's I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I mean, you, you should know. Just don't even bother planning. I mean, it's just absurd. Okay, so um, yeah, we already talked about first plan in the trash. Second yeah. plan, hmm? third plan. Hope <laughs> I'm gonna Paul introduce the an NPC. <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> Paul the Axe Beak. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, assuming you all help out unload the ingots. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. great. So then, yeah, uh, you're able to sort of churn that out. Uh, uh, Garn will, of course, uh, go ahead and uh, help you out, Flynn, and give you back the the torch and the blanket that you lost, um, or that you gave away. I should say you didn't lose it. Um, and then, was there anything else that you needed to recover? Uh, no, that's all. That's all my my used. Uh, okay, items. fantastic, yep. fantastic. Okay, so then, and then you you now have. 500 silver pieces for the party. All right. Who's, uh, should we do party fun? Anyone want to do party Yeah, so, so decide amongst yourselves who's taking care of that party. Someone's got to want to do party Any, fun. Uh, well, here, I would like to point bag. out that I keep track of inventory for a living. There we go. Yeah, and, so, you, awesome. and your character also furiously writes everything down. So that, I, say, I don't that mind is... keeping tabs on what we got. Cool. Hell yeah! And and if that's what, what every party needs, is somebody who can scribble. Yeah. <laughs> there, uh, there is a suggestion that Paul take care of the party funds. Paul take care of the party funds. <laughs> He's going to spend it all on birdseed. Uh, yeah. um, Alright, friends, so you unload the sled, which is now immensely like Paul is like able to, like he's now doing that sort of like high-stepping thing where he's like like he's just like prancing down the street now, so it's mm -hmm. it's super good, um, and you're able to sort of make your way back to the north. Look, um, how as... are we dividing this silver? Excellent question. As as uh, as you guys start to sort of haggle that out and chit chat with that, Xander fades back in the group a little bit to talk to Herrick. <gasps> secret secrets. Secret secret. We got a secret. So everyone but uh, Lee and uh, Buddy, go ahead. Off. Oh. <laughs> so Vaughn is like, but wait, wait, wait. My, my, my first secret. All right. So secret, I'm secret. So boy now. Xander approaches Herrick. So I, uh, I, I, you're a, you're a, you're a warrior. Oh yeah, uh, yes. of, of sorts. Yeah. Um, I I can't help but but notice that um when when I look at you you um you 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 look you, you got a you got a bit of a shine about you. I uh I, I first noticed it uh night before last uh, when we were when we were camping around the campfire and the 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 the, the, the aurora touched everyone um I, I do. You, do you have any idea what that's about? I mean, no one else has said anything, but you you seem you seem special, my friend. I I, I would hate to for you to sell yourself short as just a warrior. You is that a dwarf joke? No, it's it's not. Uh, uh, no, it's not. You. Uh, yes. There, there's something about you, my friend. You. I I don't know if you think that you are or not, but but you are. You are special in some way. Well, thank you, Zada. You're special as well. <laughs> well, well, thank you. But I, I, I just think think about yourself. You, uh, you're, you're more, you're something more than you think you are. And and I just, I just want you to know that. Oh, thank you. I'll consider your words. I think the frost has got to him. It's got to pull. It's got. <laughs> 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 Lovely. And so uh, I believe the group sort of came up with a, uh, a, a mathical way to, to dish out some monies. So everyone I takes. I think it will be easiest if we all take 70. Okay. So 70 silver pieces for everybody in the party. And that leaves 
that leaves 80 as just like a group the slush fund. slush fund yeah, group fund. yeah the, the old slush fund yeah right, and you're it. you're going to keep track of all the monies pretty money yeah i'll keep that so we each add 70 is that what we decided yeah 70 silver Correct. pieces <laughs> 70 gold, 70 silver gold pieces. Silver pieces. Silvery <laughs> gold pieces. I, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check your sheets at the end of the game. And I'm gonna take all the your money. The funny thing is, right. is that so. obviously with all the stuff that Harry bought, including armor and that, I'm still loaded. I've still got like yeah. twenty gold. So, yeah, so. <laughs> Even with, like, I was just like, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. Yeah, this is this is the great thing about the economy in Icewind Dale is like there's not a lot to actually go around and purchase, which means if you have money, fantastic. If you don't have money, fantastic. Like sort of a dearth of supplies. And uh you all find yourselves back at the North Look, where uh as you go ahead and make your way through the front door, like Haruna is waiting there on the other side of it. It's like, oh thank God. Were you, were you able to get the shipment? Did, did, did you get it through? Oh yeah, we got it. We dropped it off with Garn. Um... <gasps> oh, thank goodness! Thank and and and, and so it's it's at the blacksmith. He, he's got it all. Yep, he's got he's got it all. Every oh, last that's ingot. Wonderful. What, what was what? Every last ingot. It was yes. all there. Oh, and uh, and something else, unfortunately. Yes. Um, I brought this back for you. Oh, that's Ockbox. Yes, unfortunately. Oh, thank he didn't you. Make it. Oh, his his family will thank you. This is this is was very kind of you to recover that. Well, I'm I I, I promise payment and and payment you shall have. So uh, let's see here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's great. So here are uh, six bloodstones. These are uh, recurring gems. That's one. When they're able to pick out of the mountain, uh, they're 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 pretty good. Uh, uh, usually, yeah. roughly go for about uh, well, a fair price. Uh, for those of you who need to know, a uh, bloodstone will go for about fifty gold pieces. So very nice. Though you didn't okay. fight, th th though you didn't fight me, you certainly made out like bandits. Our <laughs> bloodstones in D and D Beyond. I, hey, they are. They are like indeed. Yep. Yes. It's a, yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful stone. Uh, and then very cool. And then to answer uh, your question, Herrick, uh, if you want to sort of like, um, so I know you're sort of interested in doing gem work and whatnot. Have you, yes. has he read up on this at all? Is He's he, or is this something like it in his own, in his home uh, city? Um, yeah, Fantastic. He, yeah. So I think. Um, He's got his own tools and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to, I want, I'm trying to figure out what's a, what's a good skill for you to roll for that. Uh, I wouldn't say investigation per se. Um, but you can, yeah. So, I, would, I that, would that be a good one? You can. There's all different stuff you can use. So yeah, um, yeah. Like so, if you wanna, like if if you wanna know the magical properties oh, of you know the what? stone. Go you ahead can, and. Uh, yeah. So are you? So what are you interested in learning about the bloodstone that you asked earlier? Um. What. I'll have to. You wanna know, I mean, like what? Yeah, its I mean, properties or. Yeah, properties mainly what it could be used for, you know, because um, mm -hmm. he wants to get into like magical crafting eventually. So. Oh, dig it. Okay, so then, uh, <clears throat> give me a, a history or arcana. Um, both probably just as bad. <laughs> uh, both exactly the same. Um, and I oh, get but... my proficiency bonus on it as well. So yes, uh, which is plus three. So. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, check that out! I know I've got two on that twenty-one. Clackety clack! Look at that! So you right, good so, I've made tonight. That was a, that was a nineteen <laughs> on that Arcana check. So with that nineteen, well done. Twenty-one. 21. Uh, Total. Yeah. Oh, so, so uh, with that roll, you're able to go ahead and uh, you remember from your readings and then also sort of the people that you've talked to, a bloodstone is used in protection. And then also uh, is a stone used for strength and courage. So while you're not exactly sure like what <laughs> metagame, uh, while you're not exactly sure what that translates to in terms of like, if you work with it, what it will give you, it's an inkling of the direction that you can go with it. Yeah. So there's, there's, a, there's a, a good chance that you might be able to work it for protection or possibly strength or courage which i would translate to probably charisma but nice cool. so those are those are some of the stat blocks there for a bloodstone cool all right dig it lovely y'all okay so uh in now, now haruna there there's one more thing 
Hmm? My, uh, my comrades, uh, not me, but my comrades have, uh, have, have made friends and fallen in love with this, this ax beak that you've loaned us. And they want to make sure that, that, that Paul is, is well taken care of. And they, they're very adamant about it, but they're a little shy. So. Who the hell is Paul? Paul, the ax beak. You named the ax beak? No, he yeah. told us what. Uh, oh my God. Uh, do we have to keep going over this? We asked him what his name was. Uh, they asked him, and he said Paul. Yeah. The axe beak said Paul? He didn't say Paul. But he said, look in his eyes. Yeah, because he's an axe beak. He said definitely not Franklin. He did, he was, he definitely not Franklin. Yeah, that's definitely not Franklin. Yeah. He said this to you? In a matter of speaking, more or less, yeah. In a matter of squawking, you know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Z's made a token for it in the art channel. <laughs> There's many hidden talents. Yes, got it. Love it. All right. So uh, he. Uh, okay, I guess. I'm not sure. Paul is good. I still got to return him, guy. He's a loner. Like, where'd you get him from? From the stables here in town. We'll check it out. Right. Yeah. Look, look, if if you guys who, want... who oversees the stables? We're, well, look, we're not uh, keeping the axe beat. Come on. You we're have just... a goat. Why not an axe beat? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just I, I think they're looking for assurances that he'd be well cared for. Oh no, absolutely. I mean, look at the guy. He's not starving. And as you look out the window, like Paul, the axe beat. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Eggs and bacon. The window. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 Paul, don't do that. There may be future excursions in which we need to borrow an axe beak, and we have think Paul would make a good good choice. So we might just want to see if we could make a deal or something. Oh, yeah, of course, because you know he looks like every other axe beak that I've ever seen. But you can tell him apart. Good on you. Um, so he. You want me to inquire at the stables if Paul is doing okay? And should yes. we should we need to use an XP again in the future to make sure that Paul would be the one assigned to us? Yes. All right. And y'all can identify him from like a herd of axe beaks somehow? <laughs> Well, He's all we have to do is just say his name He's and just say, hey, Paul, running. where are you? And he'll be like, yeah. it's me. Yeah, oh, no, what you're, what you're saying in one hand makes sense. Well, call his name. Yeah, try but, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, call it. Go do it. Do He's, it. I mean, he's out. Okay. Do it. Well, just... Hey, Paul. And then out the window. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> See? Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll make sure that he, um, he's looked after, and then should you stop by on in Bryn Chander again, Paul will be waiting for you. Well, and and the hey. the final reminder on that is that Garn is bringing in some special astral hellhound bird seed for Paul. And and that needs we need to make sure that that's conduited around properly. Astral yes. Hellhound Bird is that like where, where the hell on the Sword Coast did you find that? Uh, you know what? That's I'm Twi not a merchant. Twitch chat. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. A Astral Hell and I'll so, and the you know I'll talk to them at the stables. They're bound to know what it is. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, Gar Garn's bringing it in. So just, oh, Garn will okay. bring it. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, Garn. Talk to Garn about the bird seed for the X beak, which the is the astral hellhound. Which is so the hellhound seed for the bird beak. Got it. And All don't right. forget um, his plot speak, armor. You need to pick beak. up his plot armor. But, no, of course, of course. <laughs> you know, because God forbid this poor NPC die, you all be distraught. <laughs> all right. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take Paul to the stables and. Everybody have a, a lovely evening. 
Thank you so much for the strange conversation and your help. Oh, no problem. <laughs> oh, <course>. gonna turn. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of slow walk out. And then she walks out here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Paul. Safe journeys, Paul. <laughs> Godspeed, Paul. <laughs> Barman. Um, Whiskey. Just the bottle. <laughs> I, I feel like we're making a name for ourselves here, which is good. Kramis is over there like, damn. It's been a crazy yeah, day. What? You... I, I mean, I thought the talking fish was impressive. That is one charming ass bird. Mm. Right? Right, oh. though? Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm in love. I'm going to get a tattoo. <laughs> All right, so uh, this just gave worse. Looks like y'all are back in one piece. Well done, well done. So, you staying here for the night? I think we better. Basically, it's always... livid, and I don't. It's late. That's what I like to hear, Zolvana. Huh? Little, little something, little something, something. Oh, jeez. Well, okay. Come on. <laughs> come on. You, you, you got it. Just something, something short. Now, come on. Now, you. Oh, Zolvana, do you play? I was going to say, <laughs> someone, just, someone just banished Xander. It was. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that. Am, am I back? You're back for me. Yeah, yeah. you're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're back. back. Yeah. We're back. yeah. Wow, that, that was great. really peculiar. That's right. That's why you don't mess with Scramasax. <laughs> nap his fingers and be like, not in my house. <laughs> Point no. taken. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Uh, uh, just uh, n nothing to, you know, I'm not I'm not looking for the, the Iliad over here, but just uh, something hmm, light and see, lovely see. and airy, such as yourself. Wink. Uh, I'm learning. No, you didn't say. Hey, hey, you say you're learning, and I and I'm learning, and it's just it's wonderful. I love that. That's fantastic. Thank y'all. She's going. Can I? Can I? Minor. If you're asking a minor illusion, I would say. Yes. As she plays, I want to just minor uh, music notes coming off her instrument. Oh, yes. lovely, <laughs> lovely. Yeah. Okay, yes. And so then sort of like so just like, yeah. And then as I end, I'm gonna like sparks from my fingers because I can do that now. What? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yes. little some finger guns for fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, make it so a showstopper. So just so we yeah. paint this picture for everybody at home this day. So we have like her playing and there's like the little Disney music notes of like gling, 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 just kind of floating along and whatnot. <laughs> and then I imagine by the end of that, you then have Zalvana going like, yeah, shh. <laughs> it's like sparklers coming out of her fingertips. Yeah. <laughs> Got to put on a show. <laughs> uh, was lovely. Uh, anything else to add, Professor? No, that was the whole Oh, I loved it. I was, no, it's, <laughs> your entrance was good. His was better. The difference? Showmanship. <laughs> <Just, laughs> <little> Showmanship. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. A little, little treat for those of y'all who know where that's from. All right. So, uh, okay. So, <laughs> we have another night in uh, Bryn Shander. Uh, um, Zolvana. Yes. What do you. What are you doing tonight? Well, I'm sorry. Are you, are you work in the crowd with your with, with your Barty goodness. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna just work that crowd with my Barty. <laughs> work that crowd. Um, yeah. Awesome song. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was it. That no, uh, the crowd has been worked. That's yep. all I got. Good job. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, go ahead and, uh, roll me a D 10. Uh, okay. uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Three out of 10 is horrible. <laughs> now, <laughs> you don't exactly know that, but so yeah, but it's you know it's it's okay. Um, so as you're uh, so as you're kind of working the crowd and you're singing and whatnot, and during like one of your breaks, you just you sit yourself down on the edge of the stage, and, and as you sit yourself down on the edge of the stage, like one of the you overhear two of the two of the um the patrons of the bar sit there going like, 
<sighs> You've been over to Claire Dineval lately. No, no, I've not. I've not. I've been staying on this side of the lake. Well, yeah, apparently. No one has seen the town speaker in some time, and sinister figures have been seen walking to and fro the castle at odd hours of the night. Oh, you daft bird, it's always an odd hour of the night. Ain't seen the sun since your grandma was a wee. It's only been two years, Seamus. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm deep in me, pop, in me cups. Which sounded like pups, but that's a different thing. And we don't approve of that out here in Icewind Dale. <laughs> Jesus, Seamus, shut your gob. So, uh, as you, uh, <laughs> as you're <laughs> listening to the crowd, uh, so you hear that in Caer um, no one has seen the town speaker and that sinister figures have been seen traveling to and from the castle, which uh, you know to be uh, the Care, C-A-E-R which is the, the the sort of the main fortification in that town of Caer Dineval, which okay. uh, all of you would know would be on the east side of Ten Towns. Uh, guess what else is on the east side of Ten Towns? East Haven. East Haven, you are correct. And Circle gets the square. So, yes. So, uh, um, and the night passes. Can I spend they, some time while we're sitting down? I spend some time trying to craft and stuff. Oh, excellent. Sitting at a bar. Okay. Having a few okay. Drinks with, uh, what with do you, if you, uh, so what do you, what are you attempting to craft? Um, uh, it'll probably so be you've working. got essentially like a rough. Yeah. Uh, like it'll be working on the stone first. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's sort of, uh, in the same way that you buy like, uh, crystals at like a, 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 yeah. a spiritual shop, it's faceted a little bit and sort of like a rough cut at the top, but it's rough cut. Yeah. So he will spend time tonight probably just trying to smooth it up. And Nice. Okay, so you're going to try to polish it up a little bit. Dig yeah. it. Dig it. Sitting there polishing his bloodstone. Yeah. Dig it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, no one's going to jump on that. Good. That's good. That's a, that's a kind party. Um, all right. Uh, so I, I learned something from Sean last night about just passing up the exit ramp. So. Oh, man. Exactly. And so some days you're like, nah, I'm going to let it go. Yes. Um, so, uh, Lee, go ahead and roll me my jewelry crafting. Yeah. Roll me your jewelry crafting. So for that, I think we talked about you doing, uh, I, I, I would like a dexterity or like a sleight of hand since you're working that, though. I know I, that that's going to be tricky for you. It takes his time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll lower the DC, but it's still going to be a sleight of hand check. So. So it would pro I'm going to roll something with a plus one then, because that'll be the same thing. Okay. Okay. Because these dexterities are not the best. Um, 14. Okay. Why did that roll it that afterwards? I clicked the jewelry craft in ages ago. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, well, I like that. Okay. So I, yeah, I like that jewelry. So um, with the 14 and the nine, you're definitely able to get like a, a really really nice sheen on it and so like it's it's starting to like where everyone else is still having that sort of rough cut appeal yours is starting to look like like a little jewelry shape now granted the size of the gem that you got it's fairly big so you're able to polish up like one end of it almost like a quarter to a third of it polished up the rest of it is still rough cut mm -hmm. now there's a possibility you could like try to chop some of that off and shift it around but yeah. it's and say so you're making some really nice progress with it so cool good 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 i love that all right, friends, uh, anything else uh, as we're looking to move into the second night in Bryn Shander? Mm. Nothing. Um, so, shall we go ahead and discuss the rumors that we've heard thus far so far and maybe plan absolutely. where we go next? Yes, absolutely. please. <laughs> <laughs> so, so much. Rumor, rumor. I've rumor got a rumor. Has it. Mm, rumor has it. I heard a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about rumors the one you just heard was uh involving care dineval which again mm -hmm. you know to be on the east side of 10 towns and that is that no one has seen the speaker or uh in some time and that sinister figures have been seen leaving the castle at all hours of the night anyone else have a rumor that they remember zolvana Yes, um, I was just pulling that up. So oh, there is a um, 
There's a rumor that in East Haven, they caught an evil wizard who killed some adventurers. And the town militia plans to burn the wizard at the stake. Um, and the captain of the guard, who I think is, was it Captain Indra? Yeah. Ooh, good note taking. Is, um, is looking for adventurers to uh, help with another task that may or may not be related. So well, yeah, that's what I got. Money's always good, I suppose. All right. What what was what was that name again? I'm sorry. Captain Indra. Captain mm -hmm. Indra. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Anyone? Anyone else have a rumor that they heard? Rumor has it. Well, well we first we also have the kind of the ongoing rumor has, about the. Um, has anyone seen or heard from that Stefik gentleman? Yeah. Uh -huh, the, yes. The, the cold ice. Cold. You're as cold as ice. Killer. Dun, dun, dun. Cold killer. <laughs> so you remember that uh, the towns that they had hit so far had been Targos, Bryn Shander, and East Haven. And do we remember what our our fairly good looking uh barkeep told y'all when you inquired about it? Yeah, he seemed to indicate maybe they were headed east from here. Um since it was East Haven, Targos, Bryn Shander, it would make sense that they were traveling. At least that seems to be the direction of the the hit. So the first one being from East Haven, then the next one being all the way over in Targos, which you know to be in the West. And then Bryn Shander, which is sort of as central as you can be in 10 oh, towns. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. So it's there, there, we think maybe making some sort of loop. C'est possible. Potential. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So it could be the other thing, the other thing to keep in mind, which you all would know is that Targos, East Haven, and Bryn Shander are all the major metropolis metropolises of uh, Metropoli. of Icewind Dale in terms of being larger cities. So while there may be murders in some of the smaller towns, you're definitely not hearing about them. But you know for a fact that there's been at least three murders. Uh, murders. So what's the next closest town to the east of here? Is it East Haven or is it is it indeed East Haven? Well, I mean, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that that might not be a bad place. The if 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 this Captain Indra is looking for help, maybe that could be a payday. Maybe we could find this traveling group of dog sledders and suss that out some. Yeah, I mean, or we could just go do belly rubs with uh with Paul. <laughs> oh, that Aww, sounds good. We too. could just become axe beak farmers and live our life here in Bring Oh my god, we just did like... Icewind Dale Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> forget the murders, forget yeah. the, you know. You know what? I want to I want to spend my life doing good works. We raising to... noble axe beaks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to make a stand, but... I mean, what if they murder Paul? Yeah. We'll find Paul a good girl. Maybe help they can lay some eggs, you know. <laughs> Paul and yeah. Paulette. That'd be nice. Yeah. 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 It'd be sweet. I just. Mm. Yeah. And no. Then when the horrible evil in the land <laughs> rises up and murders everyone, you'll have no one to blame but yourselves. No one anyway. Knows. So. <laughs> but yeah, you could totally be Axe Beak Farmers. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we definitely need to go to East Haven. Okay. Let's see what about this next? wizard. What can, uh, can Scram Sex tell us about? East Haven. I mean, obviously, we all know some about it, but can we suss any any glean any extra information out from him on East Haven? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so you go ahead and uh, you, you wave him over, or sure. What can I do you for? So we're uh, thinking about maybe heading heading east, uh, East Haven area, but mm -hmm. um, and so we're all, we're all a little familiar, but I just want to get your your take on it, you know, as someone who runs an establishment like this, I mean, are we going to find anything like this over there or is it just kind of all downhill from, from here? Well, I mean, you're absolutely not going to find anything comparable to the North look. I mean, she is, I mean, especially when we got entertainment such as Zilvana. Uh, 
Huh? Ah, uh-huh. yeah, God, yeah, it's so nice. All right, so uh, but uh, I get I get ahead of myself. Uh, East Haven. So uh, speaker is uh, Dennis Whalen. Good, good man. A good, good leader, I should say. A good, good speaker of the people. Uh, captain in charge there is uh, Imdra. She do not mess with her. She's a she and I did a couple of adventures back in the day. She 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 knows how to handle herself. Um. The, East Haven's nowhere near as friendly as some of the other burbs around here, but uh, say some some decent places to be had. You used to have a ferry that would uh, take you straight across the lake. Quickest way to get down to uh, Cape uh, Cardinaval or, or Car Koenig. But of course, uh, I imagine winter being winter, it's probably all froze up. So, um, ah, you should definitely check out the wet trout. That one is a... <laughs> <laughs> that's a, yeah that's a that's a rowdy good time in that town if you uh if you're looking for a good time now if you're looking for a a, a more quieter place to sort of shack up um uh, there's a oh, there's a white white swan white something white it, it it's it's the, it's the other place in town i mean there's not a lot of them it's a great thing about these uh places up here in icewind dale is you got maybe two three notable establishments per burb and that's about it. Um, other than that, and so the, oh, the, oh, the white oh. swan is just kind of laid back and and chill, or right, just, yeah, a little more laid back and chill. A, a lot of uh, a lot of the rougher elements of town. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. He goes ahead and like flicks his nose towards anybody like sporting a blade. Like they'll they'll they'll, they'll populate uh, at the wet trout. Uh, it's uh, run by. Uh, uh, Oh, she's gonna be so pissed at me when I forgot her name. Uh, Dragonborn White, a real mean drinker, but by God, a hell of a good time. Uh, oh shoot, I'll try to remember her name later. But you should, you should check her out. She's a she's she's a bit severe, but you know, has, it's a good establishment. Um, what else? What else? Uh oh oh oh, watch your pockets. Oh yeah, e- I'm lot, sorry. East, East Haven of, was uh, lot, lots of sticky fingers going on there. Well, you, East Haven was founded by thieves. You know that? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. So uh, okay. so pickpocketing uh, as a as a tribute to their uh, wayward past is legal inside the city walls. So uh, huh. pickpocketing uh, so sounds keep, like my legal. kind of place. Uh huh. So uh, so keep your eyes on your prize. Lest they surmise their demise. All right, so uh, oh. that's you know, yeah, right. Not the not, not the only one can I, weave a I, silver I, tongue every now and then. Are yeah. you angling to have a duet with Zalvana? Because uh, <laughs> I, I, I bet we could arrange that. Oh, every, every night, just make my heart so happy. Well, sing us a song. Do us a duet right now, then. I, oh no, no, I couldn't possibly. There are so many people here that would love to. That would love we to haven't prepared it anything. It'd it just be, it'd be, it'd be awful. Well, that's what let's, makes it special, though. Scram let's side. do the time warp again. Indeed, <laughs> it's astounding. <laughs> time is fleeting. What have I done? Madness. <laughs> Sorry. No. All right. So. Um, <laughs> That not means. for very much longer. <laughs> not, mm, mm, mm. I've got to keep control. All right. So, uh, so yeah. But so, uh, so he's able to sort of give you a little bit of the flavor of the town. So East Haven uh, was formed by uh, thieves and rogues back in the day. Apparently, it was a, a, a sect of a, of a thieves guild that had been ousted, and then they shambled up here to the north and set up their own little burb. So seriously, watch your pockets, or also have fun and pick some pockets. Um, okay. so sounds like we're on the way to East Haven. Then. What did you say the speaker's name was again? Oh, the speaker's name was Denneth Whalen, which I will, of course, put all this, all, all this information will be available to you at the end of game. So that way you guys have time to actually disseminate the information. Um, but yeah, anything else? Nope. All right. Lovely. Lovely. So we pass the night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. So. Yeah. so we drift in the night away, and we uh, go ahead and next morning, ha 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 ha, and uh, you make plans to go ahead and travel. Now, the great thing about getting to East Haven is there is the East Way, which is a paved 
beauteous road that um, allows you guys to just hoof it. Or you can go ahead and uh, bring Athelflaed. Um, now, again, only two people can ride on Athelflaed. So. Well, I'll take it, but obviously just... It won't go fast. It will just like trot along. No, no, no. But yeah, so, but you're, let's see here. Uh, travel is about, uh, so on foot, it is about seven and a half hours to get yeah. to Bryn Shander from East Haven, which is not bad. It'll take you the morning to get there. Um, but you, I mean, you could cut that down with dog sleds and mounts, but hmm. all that, all that cash money. Um, though, so you are pretty flush in silver, so you could get some sleds, Ride them out to East Haven, cut that down. But again, it's seven and a half hours. So unless you're, I mean, I, I don't know that we're we're looking to. Yeah, just... right. It's like, oh man, those three hours are really gonna. Yeah, I don't know that we're looking to make money just to spend it on travel. Yeah, yeah. I think we could just travel um, slow, get to in. know each other. You know. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we t we're we're taking the road. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm talking about the road. All right, y'all. So you go ahead <laughs> and start walking down the east way. Yay. Was there, was there a battle map? Was there a battle map? Yeah, that that's not loving that. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you, no, you're fine. You're fine. I just yeah, to... yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no, you guys, you okay? Shh, shh. Everyone's just walking. It's just nice, <laughs> easy walk. Everyone's saying life is a highway for me. Come on, just life, life is, is a highway. highway. I wanna ride it all night long. <laughs> You're going my way. I wanna drive it all night long. <laughs> okay. Bring back Paul. Bring back Paul. Oh, it's a group sing along, guys. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Karaoke so, with Paul. So, when Rhyme with the Ice Maiden, Rhyme with the Frost Maiden first, when Rhyme with the Ice Maiden, uh, when Rhyme with the Frost Maiden first came out, they were like, "Oh, it's dark, it's horror, it's desolation." <laughs> and then Waffle Stupid came along. And then came Paul the Axe Beak. Yeah, no. So uh, awesome. So you guys are just traveling down the East Way. Um, it's pretty easy going. Uh, anybody want to inquire with anybody else, or are we just is... all sort of chatting along? Carol's definitely like kind of keeping an eye out whenever she's traveling. She's always just kind of watching the woods, watching everything. Exactly, because this is where you all ran into some ice claw walkers. Oh my god, you guys, they're uh, back! The yeah. professor's doing the exact opposite. Oh, so the professor, so where, where, where Fairy Elle is totally like keeping her head on a swivel, professor's all. He is uh, journaling as he's walking. Brilliant. Brilliant, um, excellent. So, uh, who else? So let's. So let's give me give me a marching order, party. So, uh, <laughs> Fariel is in front, head on a swivel. Who, who else we got? I'll I'll follow behind her. Okay, so and then Flynn's kind of backing her up a little bit. I'm starting to see a pattern emerging here. Yeah, <laughs> so, well, and and if the professor is going to be down in his books, maybe he is between Zalvana and I, and we're yeah, I think he's the middle back at this point. Yeah, yes. Yes. He could yeah. probably be on the sleigh yes. with me. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he could be riding. We'll, we'll do that. We'll put him on, on the, on Herrick's cart. Yeah. He's getting, yeah. he's getting pulled. Uh, he's getting pulled behind with Athelflaed, just sort of like reading his notes. I love it. I love it. Okay, oh, cool. God, so I get it, to talk to Xander. Yeah. First room. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Yes. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Love it. Love it. Okay. So, uh, as you all are sort of, uh, traveling your way down the East way, uh, Flynn, very make me a perception. Okay. You're a perception. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Poof. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Daddy, funny. oh. Okay. That looks. Oh, yeah. snap. Tiberius James Flynn coming in with a crit 25 on that. And uh, Fariel, not too far behind him with a 21. Nice. Okay, so uh, Flynn, you spot. Clean as day. Fariel, you're like maybe a half beat behind him. Not even. There is this dr dragonborn coming towards you. But it's kind of like, it's like walking, but it's sort of like sloughing a little bit to the side. Kind of as it's sort of like shambling down the road. Um, and you see it and it's about, uh, it's about 
know, like eight, it's a good 80 feet in front of you. And, you know, it, it kind of sees the party and like you see it sort of like it grips its own coat and like sort of like writes itself a little bit and then like tries to like put its hands on it. And... Is it like, Sorry. wait, is it, it's, it's two cobbles inside a trench coat, isn't it? <laughs> Do you do you see that, Flynn? Oh, I I see it. What what <laughs> oh. is? Oh, I see it. All right, and as and so as it's like walking up to you. Do they? So do now they, it's like now it's about forty feet away, and then. Do they tell us the rest of us? Yeah. Uh, hold on. There's someone, something <laughs> approaching. <laughs> Imagine Fairy oh. just like reaches behind her. And she's like, shh, you know, shh. <laughs> but you, you're not gonna. You're not gonna tell us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> P professor, Professor, get back on the clock. There's some... Oh, uh, put, put your books away. Hail, hail and well met, adventurers. Hail and well met to you, How too. far away is this thing? About 40 feet right now. I'm right, and I am so right. <laughs> I, and, and I'm going to say hail and well met in Elvish. And, like, be like... You know, really, uh, like, just genuine about it. So, uh, how y'all doing today on this lovely winter's morn? I, I am good. Just a uh, fellow adventurer. How well, are you both? <laughs> I don't know. What you okay? What is everyone's uh? What is everyone's <laughs> passive perception? Six, uh, fifteen. My insight, <laughs> sixteen. My insight right. is sixteen 14. as well. Uh, 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 fourteen. Passive perception is fourteen. Huh? Well, well, fine then. All right, y'all. <laughs> Was I right? So, as a uh, as you. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, <laughs> oh no. So the um. The Dragonborn rolled a 19 for okay. its uh, its <clears throat> deception. <roll. laughs> yeah, <How, laughs> for its how, roll. So, it, how long does my my crit perception last on this though? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, both uh, so both Fariel and Ty and Flynn, uh, <laughs> you all notice something very off about this Dragonborn in that it seems to have an additional pair of feet poking out from the middle of it. As if, like, a couple of toes are poking through the middle of its jacket, and then it sort of <laughs> sees you looking, it looks down, it, uh, and, like, sucks its feet back in. It's like, um, so, uh, um, we're just traveling along. Right. Right. Brave of you to travel the east way alone. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and and I can't help but notice you said we're just traveling. Who, oh, you know who, how people talk about themselves like that. Is, the, it, is it the royal we? Royal we, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. We we dragonborn are royalty. And that Where are we oh. coming from? You, 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 are, you are. Here, let me help you with that. Just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I I've never met an actual dragonborn. Tell me about your lineage. It's long and linear and <laughs> there are dragons in it. Oh. Of which I am one. Ah. Both of you one? No, just me. Uh -huh. I mean Look, why don't we just cut cut it out? <laughs> like you're not you're not a dragonborn. There's more than one of you. Hop hop down. Let's go. I told go. you guys it wouldn't work. This is a terrible idea. Ugh. Sorry. And then she turned up like it opens <laughs> its coat and not one but two and then a third kobold <laughs> are now stacked, that's impressive. Are stacked on top of each other. Uh, the kobold on the bottom is wearing a rather pair of tall boots, and so it's like trying to like walk in them. The third one is or the middle one is trying the the middle kobold, the uh, is trying to sort of put his help sort of bulk out the midsection a little bit by like pushing against the sides of the coat, and then of Aww. course the the kobold on top is uh, just 
sort of like putting his arms out and then desperately trying to keep the coat uh, wrapped up. But uh, it, uh, mm-hmm. unfortunately, DM, uh, DM, you've already accidentally given us an NPC X speak. Are you sure you want to give us a trio of NPC kobolds? Oh no, absolutely, I don't. And then they okay. attack. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so no, uh, but these uh, these these three kobolds then sort of hop right down. I can't believe I got that right. I got Nate with that one. Yeah, that's right. No, these are undead kobolds. No. Um, so the the three of them hop down into a line. Just like, sorry, we were just trying to get to the next town. Is 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 Torgos that way? Oh, no. And they point oh, to the yeah. east. <laughs> oh, no, no, because we're heading east. You're right. right. So no, I don't. No. I think that. I think they're lost. Are they? You, you, you is sure? You're asking if Torgos is behind you? Right. Because I, I want to head towards that way. And then one of them, and like one of them points towards Bryn Shander, the other one points away from Bryn Shander, and the third one points nor- just straight up. <laughs> just like, well, we can help you with the up if, if what? that's, you How? know. So was it your mother that was a dragon or your father? Well, uh, we're 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 kobolds. All all of our parents were kobolds. We're just kobolds. Mm. Checking. Uh, okay. You three are lost. Right. I'm I'm Holgi. He's Snorp. I'm Zilbo. Don't adopt the kobolds. Don't oh, don't adopt the kobolds. Don't adopt them. Don't adopt them. Don't adopt them. Don't. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> they have names, Rodney. It's too late. <laughs> oh. <laughs> where where are school? you trying to go? We are trying to don't talk to her. One second. Um, I'm just. I'm really. Um, I'm whole. Okay. <clears throat> so we are trying to go west. To all right, you're succeeding. That's west. To talk to. To what? See, I told you that was the way they go. Well, how am I supposed to see? I'm the boots. I can't have any vision. I'm just the middle man. Oh my God. <laughs> well, why? Why don't you just go as as yourselves instead of disguising? Have 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 you all been accosted on the road? Yes. What is in the west? Well, we're just trying to get away from. Shh. shh don't. Talk away about... from what? Um. I mean, you'd be help. We're heading into it. Obviously, you'd be helping us out by by warning us. Oh, one second, and they all duck in the coat. Can we hear what they're saying in the coat? Roll me perception check. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a fifteen. Okay, so uh, you hear dragon. You hear. Don't you hear? We should tell them, and then you also hear, "What about the clan?" So, <clears throat> all right, we've come to a decision. <clears throat> okay. Two of us think we should do this. The other one says nay. So, diplomatic. The, the uh-huh. majority. Okay. Okay. So, wait, wait. Don't we get a vote? Oh. Oh, God, we didn't even think. Oh my gosh. All right, quite so, impolite. Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Whoever wishes to try to, or not, not perception, uh, persuasion. That's what I want. A okay. Persuasion check. Roll me to see if if you guys want to try to persuade them. I do. <laughs> oh come on! Flynn, I saw that. That's a cold, hard damn. All right. So Flynn rolled a crit fail on that. Uh, uh, Herrick rolled an 18. Wait, perception, perception. I'm losing persu- persuasion. There it is. And oh, Fairy, I rolled a 16. Okay. Oh, okay. 18. That's Salvana with an 18. Oh, and then Salvana rolled the 18. Okay. Awesome. So with the three of you trying to persuade, that's two versus the one. <laughs> Just like these kobolds, uh, <laughs> the, the twos have it. So, um, Fariel, Zalvana, what do you, uh, give me just a either like a 
either tell me what you would say to them or give me like the flavor of what you would say to be like, oh, well, we would tell them that they would be helping us out or we would tell them that, you know. Yeah. Look, obviously your disguise is not very good. Uh, disguises happen to be my strong suit. I could potentially give you a few pointers to help you along the way if you'd be so kind as to share your information that might help us. Yes, and I have a disguise kit, so I can make you up any way you'd like. Should we oh, really be helping these creatures deceive others? Yes. yes. If it's further. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unanimous. I love it. I love it. They're yep. protecting themselves. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Um, you, we have to tell them now. Oh, yeah. No, we're three for three at this one. All right. So, uh, okay. Uh, we. Oh, okay. So we ran away from our tribe. They were worshiping a, an ancient white dragon. And it. Um, if you haven't seen it yet. It's horrifying and definitely don't mess with it. It, it usually uh, flies about on the tundras. Uh, the, the tribe has been trying to, to hunt it down and, 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 and appease it with gifts to see if it'll somehow uh, bless us. Though, between you and me, I think some of those gifts mean some uh, some sacrifices. sacrifices. Yes, we get, we right. get what you mean. Come on. Right. So, so the three of us decided that well, we should be better off at least on, on our own and, and trying to make ourselves appear intimidating with the dragonborn disguise because you know, go bald. Um, but uh, if your disguise kit could help us, that would be great. And, and and then we just wanted to head west as far away from the the the, the trouble uh, as as we can. I'd suggest if you can to steer clear of Bryn Shander. Oh. Circle, circle, circle around. Okay. Your, your disguise is not good at close, close range. Oh. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. That that sounds okay. Good. Do you speak any other languages? Um. They sit there and. Ooh, so sorry. <laughs> Besides that one. Oh, no, just those two. Okay. <laughs> well, I just... Posing as a dragonborn and not being able to speak draconic might be a pretty big giveaway. So what you just heard was actually draconic. Okay. So you didn't hear speak draconic? I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you, do you actually speak draconic, Fario? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Which that. is why I didn't recognize it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep, that's why. <laughs> Actually, yep. no, I, that's I, I would... that is exactly how that would go in real life. Yep. <laughs> I would go. I would go with that. If uh, if you would just uh, try to keep your distance, pretend you don't speak common, then uh, you might uh, you might be able to pull this off. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's so helpful. Also, I noticed. Do you have anything you... interesting? No. Um, I have a trench coat. I mean, you got this trench coat, and then like you see that like, uh, while one of them was carrying like a wooden javelin that they were kind of trying to like use for balance every now and then, which is why they were doing left, right, <laughs> trying to like catch themselves. Uh, the other two actually, they, there was a, another pair of like javelin, and then there's like a couple of maybe a crude dagger between the three of them. They. Th they're kobolds. So. <clears throat> Would we know um, what the reception for kobolds would be like in a town like Bryn Shander? So like in what the, the vibe in, is? In for... terms of, so because, <laughs> I love that Lee was able to like, it's like, these are, this is like two friggin' kobolds in a coat, isn't it? <laughs> so this is not the first time that the that you have either heard of a uh, 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 creatures disguising themselves to fit in among the towns. And you're also aware of the fact that some of you among the party are also using your heavy winter garb to disguise the fact that, you know, you are who you are or that, you know, you're not trying to broadcast, you know, what you do exactly. Um, so the kobolds disguising themselves by helping them disguise themselves better, they're going to be able to fit in a little more. And I mean, you've certainly seen kobolds kind of working odd jobs in like some of the bigger cities 
Um, not that those jobs are anything grandiose, mind you, kobolds, but um, th but th they are sometimes th they're used as hired help or uh, or at the very least like you know service. So. Labor. So why are you trying to disguise yourself as dragonborns? Are you afraid that your tribe or your group will find out that you've defected, or do you just think you'll blend in better? Well, I think we'll blend in better. And and I kind of like pretending to be a dragonborn. And, um, well, also when we're walking in the between when traveling, it's safer if people think you're bigger. Fair. I, I understand that. However, the best lies are often have elements of truth. Oh. There's my free tip for the day. Okay. Best lies have a little bit of tooth. Yes. Got it. So they bite better. Damn. <laughs> wow, you're all monsters. Um, <laughs> DM, have we, have any of us heard of this uh, this ancient white dragon of which they speak? Is, are, are there stories that we have heard in bars or anything? So, in terms of, like, now that the kobolds have brought it up, like, some of you sit there and go, oh, that's what that guy was talking about. Because there have been sort of, like, I mean, there, there are always tales of, like, oh, there's the biggest damn whale in the sea, and it, and if you, and if you sing to it, he'll come to you, I swear. And then there's, like, you know, the same guy will, in a heartbeat, say, like, there's a, a dragon with a wingspan, half the, like, the full size of Calvin's Karn. It actually is the mountain. And it's just, like, uh-huh. Sure thing. And also, there's a, there's a, there's a red, there's a red yeti who's, like, killed so many people his coat is covered in blood it's like these are all sort of like the fantastical tales that you hear that everyone kind of goes uh-huh yeah so you're uh you're into hunting bigfoot huh that's cool no that's cool like everyone's got a thing but like now that you have somebody who confirms it and doesn't just sit there in their cups and tell you a tale a kobold. might put a little more salt to that Ooh. We're not fully sure that they're not in their cups. Um, what 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 else can you tell us about this this ancient dragon? We we don't speak his name, and it's not here. What's his name? Come on, can you write it? Can you write? <laughs> <laughs> they all kind of like look. You ever have a conference about it? Okay, um, I think. But hang on, uh. So I, I know A and F. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Like, yeah, that that is that is the look that passes between them. Like, do you, do you know how to spell it? I don't know how to spell it. Well, I will uh, go ahead and and reach out to one of them telepathically and just say, if you can't speak it out loud, tell me here. The minute you like reach out to one of them telepathically, he just like like Zilbo just shock straight up like freezes and then like maybe just a little bit of pee comes down his leg like he's Easy. <laughs> oh buddy you okay Easy. like he's 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 scared you know <laughs> he's like you're okay there's a voice in, yeah, there's tell a me, voice in my head tell and he's me telling his, me I'm okay tell me his name Harry says what name can't you say he his his he is the the ancient white one he he is he is waiting for the page to load. He is, he is. <laughs> Do you speak of Internet Explorer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the dreaded. Is it a chrome horror. dragon or? <laughs> it's, an ancient it's not a Firefox, beast. is it? Oh my God. Is it chrome dragon? Jesus. Oh. All right. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I, know, I know how to fix this. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to ask, are these kobolds in the book? What's that? Are these kobolds in the book? Are they? I've got no idea, are they? <laughs> <laughs> so I will say that you have met some very interesting creatures tonight. Um, some of them were planned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the in, in, the, in the kobold's mind, you see the word A-R- V 
E I A T U R A C E. Okay, one. Do it. Do it again. A R. It wasn't fast enough. No, you're right. You're right. A R V E I A T U R A C E. Okay. It's all there. Okay. And then you see, like, and I will say that word out loud. So, uh, <laughs> go on. Ar- what Ar- is it? Ar- Arve- Arveaturus. What? So it's Ar- Arveaturus. 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 And as as you say that word out loud, Arveaturus, he go. They all go. The white worm. Uh, so yeah, so the party just kind of sees me lock eyes with one of these things for for a moment, and then I say out loud, "His name is Arveaturus." <gasps> the white worm. You can read minds. Don't scare the children. <laughs> the children. And the children. I, That's a good idea. Can I have my brain back now? <laughs> you take it momentarily. Um. So and so. This, your mind is your own. This worm has been sacrificing your kind, or you just think that may it may come to that? We got out of there before it came to that, but with the way in which the clan was trying to figure out a way to appease it, and the way the winter keeps going on, uh, you, you, you go ahead and put three and one together. How you, long you, have you been traveling? Uh, you put three and one together. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know, it was very kobold of me. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, Amy? How, how long have you been traveling? How how long has it been since you left your clan? Um, we've been gone. This many days, and they hold up, like, 12 fingers? So, which you think means 12 days? Yeah. Yeah. How, many, how many times have you slept since you left? How many sleeps? Are you? What? I try to nap at least two times a day. Damn it! Never mind. <laughs> well, I, t- I try to take at least a couple of power naps. I'm, I find that this way help like a just a tiny little burst. I sleep only when the sun comes up. In uh, in in dwarvish, I'm gonna s- just under my breath say to Herrick, "You have any recipes for kobolds?" I just oh, <laughs> dwarvish, you clever bastard! All right. Well, if there's nothing else we can help you with. Well, uh, Have you heard of the Child of Midnight? The what? The Child of Midnight. Uh, Doc, I'm I I'm, I'm I need to talk to you about this. What? No, is that is that, is that a kid born at the midnight? The search continues. Nope. Okay. Well, oh. Forget I said anything. <laughs> I'll look at it sternly in the eye, and I will say, "You will forget I said anything." What did you say? Zorp says, he's asked about the child of midnight. (laughs) (laughs) Does that not... That is what you asked, right? Can I give um, (laughs) Garn more grief? (laughs) You can absolutely give Garn more grief. All right. Do it. (laughs) You're about to lose that discount, but (laughs) yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's gonna be worth it. (laughs) So I'm gonna get down to their level. I'm like, all right, here's what you're gonna do. Uh You know, you're gonna follow this road west, right? You're gonna go into town with your, with with your with your discount. Where where, 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 where (laughs) we came from? What goes west? Put the hands down. (laughs) (laughs) Where we just came from. You're gonna follow the road that way. That way. You're gonna go into town. Go into town. You're gonna find the blacksmith. I'm gonna find the blacksmith. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna do your whole shtick like this. Uh-huh. Like be, be as genuine as you are now, 
and then tell him Flynn sent you. <gasps> You'll at least get a bed for the night and maybe <gasps> a meal. A bed and a meal? Yep, say that. Say that. In, yeah, you, you absolutely will. <gasps> okay. Okay, well. Okay, bye. And then they start to like scramble, like like running down the road, unless anyone tries to stop. Harry quickly jumps back. Quick, come on, let's go. I don't know one more weirdo out here. Right <laughs> here. Uh, I have to agree, Herrick. It was cheeky when it was Paul, but this was just uh, this was just madness. <laughs> uh, at least we know there's a dragon roaming around. Yeah, that's, that's 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 a good heads up to have. Yeah, right, right. Sometimes I'd rather white not. White worm. Know. It's a horrible name. And so, my friends. You make your way down the rest of the East Way without incident, bringing yourselves to the town of East Haven. And that is where we'll end tonight's game. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. dun. Yeah, so. I feel like Flynn and the professor need to have a, uh, a chat. <gasps> secret, secrets. Do you want to do you want to cap the episode with with the secret secret or do you no, want? No, we can we can do it. Oh uh, no, yeah, no, yeah, let's. When we stop. Yeah. Okay. So thank you all so much for joining us for this our second episode of Cold Hard Witch. <laughs> uh, <we> <laughs>